All right, I think we're streaming. Zach, can you go to the PGH White Shorts YouTube channel and see if we're live? Give me two seconds and cue something else. Well, Zach can also do it. Or, Nico can also do it. Zach, you don't have to. Pollution. That's what I meant to say. These are big problems. That's a fucking meme. Looks like we are, in fact, streaming. Does it say what I think it says? The Strong Zero Conquest 2024? Uh, it does say, uh, Strong right. Zero Conquest 2024. Alright. Okay. Alright, boys. Alright, so this is a 5K Conquest. Where's the... Here. 5KN. 5KN. Yeah, 5KN. We're doing this. You got your 5K, Nico? I got mine. Shit, I need to get my wallet. Oh, <laughs> wow, he doesn't even have it. He doesn't even have it. I don't even have the money to put down right away. They got me, brother. They got me. Here, where's my 5K? Alright. Here's also my 5K. Alright. That's the pot. So, so here, for people who don't know how Conquest works, you bring five, you ban two, uh, two each, and then you have to win with every deck that you bring. Um, it's pretty good for Weiss. This is a, a Hearthstone invented format. Yeah. Uh, that Nico and I really like, so uh, we're gonna play it out. We've been drinking like all day. I think this is uh, my third tall boy. Yeah, in, this like, is the my past fourth. Hour and a half or so. Yeah. So uh, Nico's been going faster than me, but I've been going longer. So we're about at the same point. So it's gonna be it's gonna be good. All right, let's get it started. All right. <clears throat> so we're starting off with the bands. So we still need to figure out what each is banning. I think we each do this at the same time. Yeah, we just look through what we, we got. We just look through and say and tell each uh, other once we're done what we're banning. Oh fuck you! Why did you bring this? Why? <laughs> what? What did I do? Most of the major cities will be the vast pleasure domes used exclusively by the Excelsior. Well, I think that's a that's a pretty guaranteed ban. Oh, is it this build though? If it's this build, I don't give a fuck. Oh yeah, this build sucks. For nuggets of neoplasmic. Video games are gonna get more realistic. Okay, okay. <laughs> Fuck Rosica, brother. Yeah, and you could you could play fucking Macross. Okay. Alright. Easy your three. Alright, cool. I ban uh Prosica, the Choice Pants, and uh Nico banned literally both of my strongest decks that I brought. I banned Alice Gear and Ula Musa Man. Yeah, I banned uh You banned Prosica and what? What did I ban? I banned, well no, these are the two bands. I might have put the wrong deck up, hold on. Um, this is Pat. We're starting off good. Yeah, we're starting off good. Well, these these make sense. So you're banning that's Prosica and Dick no, Man. I meant to ban that. I'm, I'm banning Prosica and pop your back road on deck. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just put the wrong deck up. All right. <laughs> Damn. Okay. I am banning. Yeah, like I said, Alice Gear and Uma Musume. All right. Both of them the strongest decks that I own. I didn't have three strong decks to put up. So. It is what it is. It is what it is. Okay. Um. So yeah, it's just random what we want to queue. So. Well, we don't tell each other what we're queuing. No. We just kind of just kind of go with it. But they're going to be rounded up by FEMA and their milk will serve the greater good. Guys. We also have Sam Hyde's 2070 Paradigm Shift going on in the background. So yeah, you guys Zach, hear, oh no, Zach the entire, is... Um, the entire background is unhinged. So it's if great. you hear something unhinged, that's why. Uh, yeah. yeah, the entire background is fun. We're it's just gonna like, kill them! It's like 4 a.m. in the States, so I don't think anyone's watching. Yeah. There are four people watching. Jesus so. Christ, okay. <laughs> Alright. I have uh, volumes here. So if we need I mean, this channel hasn't had really content in a month, so... Because surprise, you, yeah, you've been on vacation for a month, so. Well, I think it, it's it's not April Fool's Day in the states yet. I assume <laughs> Tanner and Brian and gang and Tyler and gang. Oh wait, no, 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 it is technically April Fool's Day. It, it is just five a.m. <laughs> or four a.m. And I think you're going to be seeing a whole lot more of these great Apple products. The <laughs> <laughs> You're probably thinking this is some pretty deep stuff, and you're right. 
I need to get up my trans. Oh, I don't have access to my translations. Why not? Because they're on my phone. Oh. <laughs> That sucks. <laughs> Do better. Zach, if you Google Encore Dex, you will find a link to Bean Wolf's profile. <laughs> um, I'm not kidding. Can you please pull that up? I might need it. I just bought this deck. Get good. Please, no, pull please, Zach. Please, pull Zach. Please, please, Zach. Do you have the first seconds? Yeah. I'm first. You're not gonna like that one. You know what? Oh, is it? It's five o'clock. Not four thirty. It's five o'clock. You're going places, kid. You're going. Uh, so screwed. Twenty seventy. <laughs> Israel. Uh, take or this guy too. Okay. Draw for turn. Fine. Okay. Anybody else have any predictions? What do you think is going to happen? Now it's now it's time for you because you are. <clears throat> That's a clean you, cut. You, okay. Plural is the star of the YouTube here on the Time Magazine. Company. Take two. You guys are the star. I'm I will draw for turn. Are you pulling up on your laptop? You're not, you're not getting my phone. That's, too much. Real That's true. Right how big is it? And for you being a dumbass, uh, you don't okay. get that out of me. That's the thing. I'm pretty sure it's only on turn. We're gonna say it's only on turn. I'm gonna, you're, you'll be cryogenically frozen, I know it. <laughs> what, anybody have any predictions? What do you think's gonna happen in 2070? I think it's gonna be better than what we have right now. Uh, I, I Direct for two. Two. Worse. Damn it, Nico, I hate your right back. Now. Direct for two. Two. Be <laughs> Front for one. One. Effect wow. Of mandatory effect. Salvage fish. Go ahead. I hate it all of it. This is For cringe. For the final Q&A, I would like to call upon uh, Paul Richards and Larry Summerlin. <clears throat> Can I have some chairs, please? We got it, sir. I got it. We got one more. How big is this? If you don't cancel, it goes to 45, right? Yeah, if I don't cancel, this is 45. And this is just a whatever, right? Yep. This is also a JC. The center is a JC. The center is a JC? Yep. Okay. Well, I have to side anyway, so yeah. it's like not that big of a deal. Oh my god, Zach just handed me a laptop and said, fuck you. Um, You're using your phone, dumbass. I'm not compromising myself for your mistake. This is for... Mr. Hyde, um, obviously your presentation made a big impact Just on a us, bunch of crap. I'd like to know what messages that you'd like to take away from exactly. Give Carmen a break. He bought this deck over the past weekend when we were in Kyoto. Yeah, I, it was a really good deal. He spent like 10k or something on it, so he's not familiar with all the cards. It's just a bunch of crap. Yeah, I have a question for Mr. Reacher. So, what do you think will be the future of also, the space program? Also, just to make this interesting, yeah, chat, no take backs. No take backs. We're men. Yeah. We're, men. Yeah. We're, men. Yeah. we're, you know, we're playing for something. Yeah, so, there's no take backs here. As long as Game State doesn't change, it's fine. But, like, yeah. if Game if State progresses and yeah. you fuck up and you miss sequence, you're done, though. Yep. Yeah. It's just like a regional or something. Yeah, During really your cool. turn, three or less stock plus two K. So yeah, not a big deal. You got I it, gotta man. side that fucker anyway. You got it, buddy. Shiki's too big. Shiki's so strong. Yeah, Shiki's so powerful. Oh, he's right. slamming. So, uh, well, yeah. All right. That was that was close. <laughs> you were about to go minus two, and that was close. <laughs> that was close. Um, this is more general. I don't have a lot of information. Sure. Next one. So there's this company called Boston Dynamics. Their whole purpose in life is this the dog? Is this? He's upset because yeah, this is the dog. I walk you. Dude. 
Cancel on two. Front pole. Yeah. For three. Spawn ten. Cancel on three. Clean cut. Front pole. Two. Take two. Effective this on reverse. Put the top card of my stock into clock. Check two. Send us the memory and check two. I'm getting sacked out of my mind already. Nico's literally goddamn cheating already. It was two years ago when I watched the reveal. Wait, where did my clean cut card go? Did it go into your waiting room? Or did it go Why am I so stupid? <laughs> this is already very, <clears throat> very, very strong. Yeah, it went, it went into my waiting room. Alright, I'm going to load this early play. I'm so bad. This is just for fun, by the way. Despite us putting 5,000 yen, which is fucking. Not no money it's at fake. all, it's by the way. It's fake money. Can't plug into anywhere because I have a ground. Does he look like a construction company? No, those bastards lie to me. Fuck. Okay, well, discard one. You don't got a jumper. Why would I have a ground jumper? And with the help of offline TV and the sponsor I liked who about where the entire budget was going, there's a boss dynamics robot dog right here. And it's the I'll coolest play this fucking down. thing I've ever I'll seen. Use this in my effect. K1. Look at it. It's so sick. You can control all of its moves. Show this. this Check three out. Wait, can you show me? Can you show me closer? Okay. I I see. No problem, buddy. Well, there you go. That's a joke for one person. That may or may not be awake. Currently. He's awake. He's awake. He's awake. He's awake. He's awake. He's awake. It's just That's kind of a deep cut. That is a deep cut, it's yeah. So sick. How uh, it's... Make it so sick. Are you still lie to me? Uh, what are we can do? Where the, the fuck's my brain? So we're going to have to watch so one, two, and try to save the art robot dog into a machine that pisses beer this into is a cup for me to this. drink. Why specifically that? Potentially back? salvage a card? Because it sounded funny. Well, I'll use I'll this card's effect shit. first. You know, to cope. But eventually, my beer didn't declare though. My sadness. Judge. So what am I gonna do? Fill Judge. Nice try. Nice try, buddy. No. Nice try. I want to place my empty cup on the ground. Then I want Boston Dynamics piss bot over there to use its counters to leave the room for any red solo cups on the ground. If it detects one, I want it to move over. We're getting a little too specific there, buddy. Piss me a nice tall glass of beer so that I don't have to. Now we're being like, bro, you mistimed your effect because you shortcutted. Find more cups to piss in. And you gotta start somewhere, right? So let's start where most things do. That's I'm sorry the game's not going good for you, Carmen. But the game's going pretty well for me. It's not even going poorly for me. I'm doing fine. I'm not gonna make another one. Like all penises, it's a two axis gimbal driven by servo motor. So it moves left, like all penises. right, and like all penises, down, is a two axis this gimbal. Guy, which is, I guess, kind of like the urethra. It's what's being fed the what pressurized am I beer in water the background. Water, but it's using a, like a solenoid to control it. And are there any chats? Mm -hmm. A couple, but there are seven people. Wait, what do the chats say? <laughs> uh, we got live from Japan here. Direct for three. Three. My man already drunk, putting his clean cut card into WR instead of his CX. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is, yeah. And I hate you forever. Uh, front front stuff on a Raspberry Pi to get like two frames a second because it just can't process the image. Sayonara, buddy. Effect? Probably the second one, honestly. Uh, but anyway, it's not fast well, I guess it's salvaged it. Uh, let's do... Right now, I can't level my... Grab resonate. Drop it in the image. Yeah, sure. Inside you, of the cup you can go ahead. Right. So I wrote this code that generates a match uh -huh. the brightest picture. I was going to play a little bit more greedy, but you're playing pad and you can attack my back row, so I have to like make sure I always have a pad for one hand. Fucking amazing. But Michael, what happens when the floor is also white? Won't the camera get confused and not be able to track the cup? Well, first of all, fuck you, smart ass. But also, yes, you're right. You can see that the camera's having a super hard time oh. differentiating between the bright pixels on the floor and the white on the cup. But there's a pretty easy workaround. First, you dynamically Keep set yourself the brightness safe, on startup. <laughs> just get to me. You just like just get to me. And now, all that's being detected is the cup. This is thanks to a quirky little physics thing. It is what it is. Called the inverse square. <laughs> My man is clocking himself into one. Or farther away. And <laughs> <laughs> it will always have. 
the blanket. Oh it's my god, out. this is so free! Because I can't I find my fucking range. I'm stupid. I'm not a Bro, thing. that sucks. Don't don't trust. It could have all been wrong. It could have all completely been wrong. But it but it still works. It still works, right? So look, look now when we combine the camera system with the penis, it can aim itself perfectly at the cup anywhere it is in the frame. And when I leave it alone for a while. Are you gonna cop my deck or what? <clears throat> Hold on, oh my god, I'm responding to chat. It. Fuck it, work. I've never tested that before. I was like 95%. Right, yeah, keep sure, your deck to cop, dude. <laughs> Here, it's time to attach it to the dog. Where's your Ari Ferretta deck? Maybe we can At home use. because it's English. Movie magic. Yeah, movie really magic. Let me go find someone to test this. <laughs> Did you whip that brainstorm? No, I did. Okay. Hey, buddy, pal, let's go look at some cool thing to test. So, you're famously alcoholic among us. Yo! He <laughs> just among us? Amogus and alcoholic? Oh my god, that's what I love both of those things. Ignore the sex swing robot. Now you can get your fix. You don't have to fill the cup yourself. Uh oh, empty cup, nothing in the cup. You don't want to pour it yourself. You don't want to pour the. You're an alcoholic, come on. Take the cup, put the cup under the robot dog's cheek. He's so big. She's got a fat ass. It's high. Yep. Okay. okay. Would you like to resolve bar? I need to resolve the stock, but I can't resolve either thing. So for two. Oh, wow. Yeah. Can't help but notice you haven't drank the beer yet. You gotta drink the beer. <laughs> I call that a Three. success for the penis. Now all we gotta do is teach Cancel. Spock the robot to move around the room to any red solo cup it can see. Originally, I was gonna use the onboard cameras for this, but the quality on the onboard cameras is it, it's ratchet. It's like a VHS tape from the 1990s. The TensorFlow model I've been using to detect the cup does not play well with the camera quality at all. But luckily, Boston Dynamics sells an improved camera attachment for Sound the these two stars. Uh, I bought this security camera Front. on Amazon for $30. Hold on, to make a wireless for Spot sure. is easy. Just take uh, the output wire of the camera and adapt it over to RCA. Now that you got RCA set up, sure. we're going to plug it yeah. into your RCA yeah. to HDMI converter. And we all know the output of that bad boy is going in your wireless HDMI transmitter, which of course sends signal no over free. to the, a wireless HDMI receiver. And then that is going to go back to Pass a fucking get a wired HDMI. You're 1500 power and hand off for here. Easy. Now you can sure. log yourself on a wireless three. security camera. Or fucking what was I doing it for? Right, and you put it on a robotic dog so it can piss beer into cups. Why have I not said this out loud before? Why am I doing Sorry about that, me, about me, but look at this. I've cleared the dog's astigmatism, and it can finally see clearly enough for us to teach it how to find one of these. All right, Hell yeah. The this is some powerful stuff in the background, boy. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, tell you what. Some <laughs> stuff back there. The fact that you did it for $15 instead of 30000 Oh, hell yeah. To the left of the oh, Python. I know that shit. He turns left. If Spot sees the cup to the right of the screen, it turns right. And now maybe the most advanced concept in Spot's programming, if it sees the cup in the middle of the screen, he will pitch walk this. forward I'll to pitch, it uh, and place his dick this. Sure. I, I unattached the dick. But you, you, you get it, you get it, right? Return. Is it not sick as shit? Is it not cool? You're a security nope. camera, right? So I think the idea is you give it some um, sort of idle animation. I just set it to spin around in circles. And then you're chilling. You're day drinking with the boys. No, you're not. You've been in quarantine. And you haven't seen anyone for eight months. You're sad and you're drinking One, alone. Two. And I don't want to fill up my cup when I'm sad three, and drinking four, alone. Five, so six. I plop it. See the cup. No, three. Fuck. I really should have tested it before I did yeah. that whole deal. Oh, oh. I guess I just do one more. Oh, it fucking works, Higgins. <laughs> Wait, it fucking works. Why didn't it work the first time? Then it works. It, the first time was a fluke, and I have to fix nothing. Yes. Go, fucker. Yes. Yes, go. Piss in your cup. That's so fucking sick. 
Declare That's waiting. Sprint. That's so fucking cool. That's, so sweet. That's all the discrete parts. That's the dick. That's the pissing. That's the moving yourself around the room to the cup. Okay. I just have <clears> to go in and battle. Mush them together. Front attack for two. Well, refresh seven. To the future of alcoholism. For two. For <laughs> all cup and no beer. That ends today. Introducing. Boston Dynamics piss spot. Nope, not Boston Dynamics. Please stop sending us cease and desist. Piss spot, just piss spot. Hours of research have resulted in the most advanced beer pissing robot the world's ever what seen. What are we listening to? Oh, switch. it's oh, it's the do I forget. I just bought nine thousand. Yeah, I've watched this before. It's a great bit. This is very, very skillful gameplay on my part. <laughs> Being 1 5 to Carmen's 3 2 just by stupidly slamming a climax every turn and Carmen not canceling. Hey, stop. Hey. I'm gonna send this to bottom deck. Yeah. Uh, this card is gonna attack your back card. You're a loser. Thanks. No, no. No, no. Piss spot is working flawlessly. Thirty-five. This sounds like a filthy Frank so video in the background. <laughs> I'm gonna pick one and sack this. Oh, sure. oh my summon god! Alex. Yeah, this part of the guard to summon another Alexander. All right, brother, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. Triple Alexander. I see. I see. Did you know Boston Dynamics is? So these two are fronting, this one's directing. Sure. I don't know why I thought Go it was ahead. a good idea to drive from Los Angeles to Boston. I definitely underestimated the amount of time I the school I went to. Four. Well, look, it's my old college dorm. Good times, Cancel. man. Good times at this college. <laughs> good stuff. Man, it fucking sucked. I hated it here. Anyway, I completely underestimated what 45 oh. hours of driving feels like. My legs are like 80% blood clots. I just couldn't think of a way to end the video, and I went, Herder, Boston, Boston Drive, funny. I don't know. Maybe I just need to get out of the house. You got it, buddy. Severely overcompensated. Frontal. I video uh, I, I kind of miss it. So Over. Ideally, without the six months. Add it. But no guarantees. The Thinking like very okay, hard. And yep. so I, I might be busy with no. that. And no hey, filter. After eight days, Cancel. a couple pop tires, um, and 2,988 miles, we made it to Boston. So I can finally do what I came here to do. Fuck it. Pay one ditch. Stand back up. Okay, buddy. Front. Four. Whatever, dude. Front. Three. You're not Sam Hyde. You don't get to just say, we're just going to kill him and cancel. Sure, dude. Yeah, go ahead. Ah, yes. The salt. You can already taste it. Let me fucking... Let me, let me look up them fucking Yeah, tears. dude. It's really let cool. Me it's really tears, cool buddy. when your opponent just cancels everything. <laughs> Bro, dude, hold on. Let me pull out my phone. Do I need to call? I think it's 119 here. Let me see if I can speak in Japanese to dispatch the wambulance here ASAP. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Keep yourself safe, dude. That's yeah, all I'm I got fine. for you. I'm fine, dude. Yeah. I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> He's it's laughing it up. In the mud, in this trench that we parked next to. The group shirt actually looks uh, okay. nice on human beings. I'll just draw for turn. It helps the channel. You fucking, you have uh, I will clock. It's there. It's you, you know, and then I will you know, draw two the turns. Just got two flat tires in Columbus, Ohio. Fuck you, Columbus, Ohio, for that one. We're on the off brand. Fuck Fuck you, Columbus, Ohio. Ohio. Fucking Columbus, Ohio. No one likes Columbus, Ohio. So totally flat. Uh, I would play this event. Is how much you can be saving with honey. Because this video is sponsored by honey. In case you've been living on the off ramp in Columbus, Ohio, you probably heard of honey. But for those of you who have been here, where are you? And also, Honey is a free wow, it passes. I get the right the internet for promo codes and applies them at checkout automatically. Here's how it works. Fucking then I'll use this card's effects. It's not the one hey, one rest itself. Well, that's kind of stupid. Michael, get the Honey Show you this card. Computer completely for free in two easy clicks. Then when you're checking out at one of the wow, good thing I can have this. Sites, honey pops up and all you have to do is click It's a damn shame I'm attacking twice this turn, though. Oh, hold up there, Buster. Oh, hey. Couldn't help but notice you're trespassing on my land. Sorry, I was just hiking through it. Didn't know this was private property. Five, just two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could just get off the of you. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. Doing a lot of yammering, but unbeknownst to you, you're speaking. Wow, passes. Blind stock. Final words. You don't need to brandish that weapon. It's, I'm not going to hurt you. Well, sounds to me like we got to be able to Smart ass on our ass. <laughs> Game play. For two. Would you just say to me? Sign him, Nara, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> two. <laughs> it's like I slammed the climax. Oh, feels good. Go ahead. Jeez, take this. I can just meet. Oh, yeah, that feels so good. Get yeah, absolutely Is destroyed. Like real gun? There's like zero recoil to that gun. Oh, that feels good. How many are you out? I'm out all eight, sir. Okay. Alright, well. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, just like my home in East St. Louis. I love hearing gunshots in the background. Ah. You only got one shot, we don't one chance, Johnson one opportunity. <laughs> Philip Tran, my head cannon is it's just a drunk money match, one hundred percent. Stock swap. Hello, hello. Two, three, four, five, six, right there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, Tarara. Twelve. Thank God. Well, this is clean. Eight going back. Eight going back. We can all agree that there are eleven more after this. Holy shit! Okay. <laughs> all right, Carmen. All right, man. We only got one chance, one opportunity. Daddy, chill. <laughs> Daddy, chill. <laughs> we only got one chance, one opportunity. Oh wait, that card had on play revealed top. Oh, I win. Okay. Cool. What was it? The the fucking climax swap has like on play revealed top. If it's level two or higher, you send the stock. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter. I whipped it anyway. It was a little bit of a cow carcass in a single day. You'd think he'd be like mega obese, but no, he only weighed a hundred pounds by age seventeen. However, there were still a few things that stood out about Tarare. This guy, this guy is spooky. I'm not gonna. I'm be. I'm, I'm being serious. I'm about, I'm about to die I'm about to die a triple restand because Carmen just yellow stocks on me. <laughs> When I believe. Old, Bro, I'm at 3-5. What do you want me to do? I'm like literally just like fucking bleeding all over the place. He also stank to high hell, even by 18th century French peasant standards. He was described as reeking to such a degree that he could not be endured within the distance of 20 paces. So between all this and his horrendous outhouse flooding dumps, his family had had enough. All right, you're eating us out of house and home here. You gotta go, man. You heard me kick bricks, Froggy. Wow, he just called a French person a frog. That's so racist. I will take one refresh point. Why couldn't that be a climax? Oh. 
Well, too late. Uh, I will then love That's fair. This life. After uh, leaving home, Tomari was forced was a free to crush. beg and steal just to satisfy uh, his And then I guess I will uh, we'll do a lot more. Began to take notice of One, it. And eventually, he landed two, a job as a street performer four, in Paris. Cat, People would hand Tomari entire baskets of apples, Porsche, and apples and eggs, and even wine bottles, and, and watch in delight as he horked them down without the slightest hesitation. Normally, this went on. All right, hit me, Dad. Direct. For four. Fortunately, the crowd was kind enough to carry nope. him to the hospital, where he was treated with the strongest laxatives the 18th century had to offer. I would draw what happened next, but Holy it would probably shit. get my channel deleted. So let's Five. use it for a few moments. Would you like to use your effects? No. <laughs> Moving on. Cut to the year 1792. Nope. This marks the beginning of the War Direct. of the First Coalition. Ever heard four. of either? Who was in a fucking everyone? Anyway, Terari decided to enlist. Take four. Him. After all, maybe that profound emptiness he was feeling <clears throat> was just a lack of oh, purpose. Holy shit. Life. Turns out, no, he really wasn't Five. just psychotic and hungry. Even after being granted quadruple rations, Terari would still be digging through the trash pile whenever he got the chance. Monka S! Monka S! The staff there was so dumbfounded by the man's abilities that Bar. they decided to keep him yeah. to run a few experiments. The first of which involved four? putting Terari yeah. in a room with a meal prepared for 15 minutes. Monka people. S! Actually, Monka S! Oh, thank God. Next, they presented him with a raw eel. In response... Holy shit, what the fuck is going on? creature in one go. Now, this is hair-clenchingly horrifying for a couple of reasons. Firstly, he put a whole freaking eel in his stomach. The second, Six. There had to be some point during digestion where the meat Ain't no way, right? There ain't... Oh, thank God. Now, for those of you who don't know, an eel skeleton looks like this. <gasps> that means Terraria Draw had all my turn. those needle-sized ribs stabbing into the walls of his stomach at once. Draw and he was fine. He also ripped a live cat apart with his bare hands, drank its blood, and ate everything but its bones. Do whatever you want to do. I'm going to the restaurant. Like an do whatever you want. You know, that's neither here nor there. What the After fuck? Data, you can't just, can't just leave. That, uh, I lost. Yeah. We got a game over. But as we all know, all right, chat. I'm sorry, Carmen's unprofessional. We only try to be professional here on the PGH Y Schwartz channel, and Carmen has decided to be very, very unprofessional. I'm so sorry. Now we got Tarara in the background. If you do it, we'll get We got over. Terraria, whatever the fuck that means. We got Terraria in the background. Two days later, he passed the container in mint condition and was given his reward as promised. With this proof of concept, they made him an official spy and sent him into Prussia with a document in his belly to be delivered to an imprisoned French colonel. Unfortunately, there are a couple things Terraria couldn't do that are generally important when sneaking into another country. A, he could I am going to be <coughs> a proper gentleman, to and I'm going to wait for Carmen to come back. Around like a madman, wolfing down garbage and mutilating. How you doing, chat? So he ended What's up going on? By the enemy. How you doing? He kept his mouth shut for once. I'm kind of drunk. Whipping in a day in jail, Terraria gave in oh, after no. confessing that he did in fact chat have right here. intelligence sneaking its way through. What's going on? Guys, see the new Carmen lost because he dissed Columbus, Ohio. Great. The note wasn't actually anything. I did see the new Grisaia cards. A lot of the new Grisaia cards are pretty. Sick. I'm so glad I brought a uh, a, a pre-built Grisaia playset. Meanwhile, the man's keep yourself safe. Always keep yourself safe. Kiosk 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 Kiosk
Just like the man's mind, we can this see has been so cringe, you just canceled everything. 10% towards everything else. Okay. So, moral of the story here is that... Nope. No, you know what? Not even I can find Easy. anything resembling... Easy! Gotta love it. Put a white W on the board. Let's go, boys. It's sad and disgusting from beginning to end. So you're locked on that. Shit. Word from our so I can no As longer play key. Tell, I'm a very visual person when it comes to. Yeah, learning. you have to play something else. Yep. Oh hell yeah! Music video time. And I'm allowed to switch, right? You, we are allowed to switch. You just need to make sure you win with three. We've got some unhinged stuff going on in the background. It looks like it's... It's clown two, court, Nico. You it, know clown court. It's two clowns sitting in the back of a porta potty Yes, it is. That's... And, yeah, it's and what is this song called? Do you remember? We played it on the drive. Nope. It's called Witch Pussy. Uh, it, apparently the song is called Witch Pussy Chat. I don't know if it's talking about the cat or the other thing. It's two guys in a porta potty. It's something. <laughs> okay. He's got a he's got a soundboard in there from what it looks like. <laughs> I am so sorry for the background noise. What do you mean sorry? This won a Grammy! This did not win a Grammy. No, this didn't, but but both of them all individually won Grammys. That doesn't count. <laughs> Yo, ya buy. Ya buy. Ya buy this, man. Enemy robots detected ahead. Oh, no. You don't want to catch their Ligma. Ligma balls. That was a joke. You guys can laugh. You got to Explain the joke. Yeah, you explain it's not really funny. Explain the joke. It's gay, I think. Right. 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 Draw. Blue Archive. So. Draw for turn. Double check this, okay? See if I want to play this down right now or not. Um, I'm like, oh, yeah, like this. Okay. I'm gonna play this card now. Do your thing. Attack. Going into attacks. Direct. Three. Side. Choice. Oh, shoot. Um, let's take a two on the hand. Go ahead. Do you cancel it or take it? I threw it. Okay.
Japan is an island by the sea filled with volcanoes and it's beautiful. In the year negative a billion, Japan might not have been here. In the year negative 40,000, it was here. And you could walk to it. And some people walked to it. Calm. And it got warmer. Some icebergs melted. It became an island. And now there's lots of trees. Because it's warmer. So now there's people on the Bro, island. Bro, I don't know what any of your cards do. I only know what Max Rarity Blue Archive looks like because I only play against Andrew. And they have technology. Very nice. What's that? I don't know, like, I'm make a lot of rice really, really that far now. That means if you own the farm, you own a lot of food, which is something everybody needs to survive. So that makes you king. Rice farming and rice kingdoms spread across the land, all the way to here. The most important kingdoms were here, here, Sure, here, would you here, like to here, refresh? Here. But this one was the most, most important, ruled by a heavenly super person, or emperor for short. Knock, knock, get the door. It's religion. The new prince wants everyone to try this hot new religion from Biekt. Please try this religion, he said. No, said everybody. No. Try okay. it. He said. No, said everybody again, quieter this time. And so the religion one. was put into Are you place. 1K? All the rules yeah. that came with it. Yeah, it's fine. Then the government was taken over by a one. Click, nope. And they made some reforms, like making the government govern more. And it's making fine. the government more like China's government, which is a one. government that governs more. Take one. Hi, China. They said. Hi, dipshit, said China. Two. Can you call us something else other than dipshit, said Japan. Take two. Like what, said China. How about some land, said Japan. And they stole China's off and wrote a book about themselves. And then they made lots of poetry and wrote uh, another book about themselves. Then they stopped moving uh, the capital every time the emperor too. died and kept it in one place for a while, right here. And they conquered the north, finally. Get that square Which way. A uh, rich hipster named Kukai is bored with modern Buddhism, visits China, and learns a better version, which is more... Spiritual. This is just one five, right? ...invents the alphabet and causes art and literature to be great for a long time. And the royal palace turned into such a dream world of art that they really didn't give a shit about running the country. Okay, so if you live count. inside the palace, how are you supposed to protect your shit? No, it doesn't. Huh? This gets 2K. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, you played this first. That's a 2K. Yes, I understand. Samurai did not hire Samurai. Samurai became organized and powerful. More powerful than the government. So they made their own military government. Here, they let the emperor still be emperor, but the shogun is actually in control. Breaking news, the Mongols have invaded China. We've invaded China. 3-5, Please respect us, or else we might invade you as well. Pass. Okay, said Japan. So the Mongols came over, ready for war, and died in a tornado. But they tried again. What? They, this time fighting they died in a tornado? tornado. And, and then they died in a tornado again. Shogunate. Then the Shogunate over this is all accurate, dude. It's great. I, I, everything I know about Japan is from this Bill Words video. Great. Like painting okay. Painting all these colors. Collaborative poetry. Plays. Bill Words is the shit. He is. He won, he won a Grammy two years ago. It's time for who's going to be the next Shogun. Usually it's the Shogun's kid. But the Shogun doesn't have a kid. So he tries to get his brother. It's hard to win a Grammy. Or rather, this is going to go back to the action. It's not water. It's super hard. Who's it going to be? Vote now on your phones. And everyone voted so hard that the palace caught on fire and burned down. The real conquest is the strong zeros we drank along the way. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. I only have a kid. Well, some random dude. Hold so on, I'll get his name. To take over. They just want to sell shit, like clocks. Shoutouts to Alien. You the real MVP. Is all the decks going to be JP? Yeah, man, we're in Japan. Um, yeah, only, that's all I brought. That's all I, I have. I was like, I only play Japanese... Oh, whoops. I only play Japanese White Force right now, and because Carmen came in Japan, he only brought Japanese decks, so... I have Guilty Gear stowed away somewhere in the back, but... But yeah, this is mainly just going to be all Japanese. He's about halfway through it's not going to be anything like super duper meta though, because I think we banned all of our like big meta threats. Yeah, Nigo banned the two meta decks that I had, which was Alice Gear Aegis and uh, Uma. Yeah, which are also the two decks that I like probably understand the best, considering that. Yeah, right. It's not going to be this kid. I don't think you understand Alice Gear. You just got it. You don't. You don't have to understand. Yeah, you just. You just. You just trigger standby and you win. And then you heal. A lot of people support not supporting him. They have a fight, and he wins and starts a new government. From both. And he still lets the emperor dress like an emperor and have very nice things. But don't get confused. This is the new government, and they are very strict. Very so strict they close the country. No one can leave, and no one can come in. Take except for the Dutch, if they want to buy this shit. But they have to do it right here. <clears throat> now that the entire country was not at war with itself, the population increased a lot. Business increased. Schools were built. Okay. Roads were built. Everyone learned to read. Books were published. There was poetry, plays, sexy times, puppet shows, and Dutch studies. People started to study European science from books they bought from the Dutch. We're talking geography, skeletons, One, physics, and chemistry, two. astronomy, and maybe even... This is such a hard... Like time, choice. I might have to like hard to want to brainstorm. That's really powerful. Yeah. Uh, it's the uh, three. With huge boats, 
with guns. Cancel. Gunboats. Directo. Choice. Stop having it be closed, said the United States. There's really nothing they could do. So it's not a contract that lets United States, Britain, and Russia visit Japan anytime they want. Cheshu and Satsuma hated this. That sucks, they said. This Four? sucks. Yeah. With almost very no, little else. Or not, only three, three, but it doesn't matter. He can't. Somehow made the emperor the emperor again. Uh, when this goes to Wayne, 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 which they renamed Eastern Capital, they made a new here, government, which was a lot more Western. They made a new constitution that was pretty Western, and a military that was pretty Western. And do you know what else is Western? That's right. It's conquering stuff. So what can we conquer? Korea. They conquer Korea, taking it from its previous owner, China, and then go a little bit further. And Russia rushes in out of nowhere and says, Stop, no, you can't take that. We were going to build a railroad through here to try to get some warm water. And Russia builds their railroad, supervised by a shit ton of soldiers. And then when the railroad was done, they downgrade it to a fuck ton. Did I say downgrade or an upgrade? And Japan says, Can you maybe chill? And Russia says, How about maybe you chill? Japan is kind of scared of Russia. Like, you never guess who's also kind of scared yeah. of Russia. Right. Great Britain. Really cheap. So Japan and Great Britain oh, yeah. make an alliance together so they can be a little less scared of Russia. Oh, yeah. Very confident, Japan goes to war against Russia. Just there you go. And then they both get tired and stop. It's uh, time. Dropped her. Uh, Sasuga Japanese commercials. The world is about to have a war because it's the 1900s and weapons are getting crazy and all these empires are excited to try them out on each other. Meanwhile, Japan has been enjoying conquering stuff and wants more. Very the next interesting. Thing missed is this part of this China is very tiny interesting. Tiny I think I have to make this very Germany, awkward point. She said war declared on by Britain because Britain was friends with Belgium, which was being trespassed by Germany in order to get to France to kick France's ass because France is friends with Russia, who was getting ready to kick Austria's ass because Austria was getting ready to kick Serbia's ass because someone from Serbia one, shot the leader of Austria's two, ass. Her actually shot the head. Four, and Britain is currently friends with Japan. Four, so you know what that one, means. Two, three. Duh, Japan should take the islands. It's a little awkward. So they call but everything this is what we have to, to do. Let them know. Uh, I will play they dog. Them. And they also help Britain a little here and there with some errands. One dog comes into play. I will pay one. Now the war is over. And wow. Congratulations Insane. to Japan. Insane. I will spawn this. You technically won the war, which means you get to sit at the negotiating table with the big dudes where they decided to And now I can just do this. And yes, Japan gets to keep wow. it. Wow. Crazy. Triple combo. You also get to join the post You're so fucking good. I'm so good at this game. Yes, fuck. You have to take a look at uh, I'm gonna walk right to the combi and buy more. Same. Same. I was just about to go. Um, I would add probably just two on Huey. And Japan said uh, four two. And Japan invaded more and more and more and more of China. And was uh, planning to invade the entire east. You've got mail. It's from Germany. The new leader of Germany. He has a cool mustache and he's trying to take over the world. He needs friends. This also got forwarded to Italy. They all decided to be friends because they had so much fun. Grrrr. Two on. Germany is invading the neighbors. Then they invade the neighbors' neighbors. Then the neighbors' neighbors' neighbors, who happened to be Britain, said, Holy oh, shit. And the United States started helping Britain because they are few friends. And started not helping Japan because they're friends. Grab the brainstorm. Trigger. The United States is also working on a large, very unique military system. Trigger. 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 Trigger.
I went to elementary school in Australia. Listen, dude, I'm school. like the epitome of that guy from the Parasite anime of, like, focusing the fuck up. Like, bro, there's the equivalent of, like, $30 I can win. It's time to get serious. Meanwhile, I'm just like, I'm too drunk for this. I can't possibly focus on this. I'm still, I'm still drinking. I'm about to open up this next time. I'm still drinking. I'm still this shit is plus, right Boom! Headshot! Holy... My opponent just double rickied himself. What the fuck is happening? The wheat will be left. Holy shit! So, what other terrifying Australian animals are there? Let me Here, chat. So you know I'm not a fucking weirdo. I'm gonna keep drinking. This is a lemon sour. I wouldn't drink another strong zero, but Carmen drank my last strong zero that I bought. Zach, can you go get us some more strong zero? I planned on doing that after I queued up enough enough videos. Actually, a kidnap. Uh, in addition to being can we do the square hole? Fears, there's some the square I can't hole. kill any of <laughs> Nico's. That's a very good video. Thank you for the recommendation. No problem, dude. I want to do the square hole again. <laughs> That's right! <laughs> the square hole! The square hole! Let's do this one. I don't know which one's about the size of a coaster. Uh, when you rub your leg against your headphone cable, this is what you assume you felt. Oh. To be honest, though, when you see one of them, you say, Ah! Oh, it's only a huntsman. Uh, D2. I wonder what these guys That's walking friendly. by think of us now that Carmen made me open up my window. Uh, Tasmanian Devil. Um, these little guys look like cute minute dogs. Wait, are, were you serious about like my combo? Dogs thing? are completely filled with evil. For their size. Yeah. Wait, that's, that's cheating. Don't that's ever do that again. Oh my god, fuck you. No, don't do that. For me, bro, this is a money match, dude. Don't do that. Don't ever do that. Fine. I'll give you the I'm one. I'm counting here. I'll give you the one. Don't do that again. Uh, koalas. Now, they might seem cute and cuddly, but don't let that fool you. Uh, they will be at the petting zoo feeding the little guys some eucalyptus. I can attack through the seven, or I can brainstorm out of the seven. All my climaxes walk. trigger on grave. Uh, if I have no grave, the trees themselves in all I'll have in grave is that. Always on fire. Why, you might ask? Well, take the eucalyptus tree. What do you get from the eucalyptus tree? Eucalyptus oil. That's right. The trees are that's right. made of the square oil. Hole. That's, that's right. right. <laughs> the square hole. The square hole. You'll hear that thing. Um, platypus. Now, when North Americans see a platypus, they all say the same thing. We I don't think I'm right this from here. And they couldn't be more wrong. Well, beavers look like right, you whatever you want. Uh, I attack three. There's two yeah. left. There's no way I refresh. Yeah, thing. there's no way. He, I will look. Why These two cards go back, but I still don't think it matters. Drag for two. Refresh seven. Well, no, yeah. because I have electromagnetic sensors in my big ass duck bill. I'm not even joking about that. So, anyway, uh, great white sharks. Well, these things can kill you easily. Almost every instance of one attacking someone has been a huge misunderstanding. I can't show my combo. It's fucking lit. Basically, every time, <laughs> that's insane. Like thinking, hmm, a seal. I'm going to eat that. And then when they go and take a bite, they realize it was some dude battling on a surfboard, and they feel really guilty for worsening their already poor public relations, so they quickly swim back to the depths, hoping they won't get turned into soup. Kangaroos. Uh, besides being absolutely kangaroo-jacked, kangaroos have a giant-ass tail they like to use to initiate drop kicks on unsuspecting sir. pregnant women. Well, they don't generally attack unless they're aggravated, they can be very defensive of their offspring. So be very wary if they seem to have something in their pouch, because it's probably a Glock. B tier. It looks dangerous because it is dangerous. Uh, crocodiles. Uh, crocodiles are basically the Venus flytraps of reptiles. I'm pretty sure they don't even have the ability. I don't know what the fuck we're listening to. These are some. Philosopher, I feel they're like definitely. Like, he's saying words. Occupation in life. Oh, it's uh, this is the most deadly Australian animals. And never let go. Oh. Well, Mr. Crocodile, Shout out to Ten do do and Darcy. More and more, yeah. The opportunity is just who else is here. Uh, take refresh damage. Oh, this is two, yeah. Okay. Take two. Uh, jack jumpers, giant ants uh -huh. with huge jaws that can jump like two. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, a lot of keep yourself safe. Yeah, we keep all of ourselves safe, Several guys. Two. Oh, if you get stuck, what else we got here? Those are just so long. First go out. Second cards. Then you're mostly uh, fine. Three percent of people are. Sorry about that, friend. Me ten. Absolutely not fine. I will cancel uh, on two damage, games. sir. These guys suck Fun because they're somehow yeah. immune to crushing damage, but you the news is they're pretty dumb. So you'll walk into your cancel bathroom, and there'll be ten You're people chilling in the junior. bathtub. Yep, they can't get, get fucked, retard. Uh, oh, I can't say that word. I'm so, hey, no I'm so sorry. No slurs, I'm so sorry. sorry. Nico, you ruined our channel! I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it, guys! I'm sorry! Trampolines. 
uh, everyone in Australia has had at least one. Guys, don't Shea don't Shea listen to me. I'm, all the I'm, a bad, I'm a very bad I'm a very bad influence. At some point I say I say some bad words sometimes. I'm so sorry. The whole thing crashed at your neighbor's house. Uh, I will play this for one. Eight tier. Kills you. What does that do? You know, what level is this? What are the chances you got a I can five tap here? To give something, uh, okay. Hell yeah. Uh, I will overplay the dog to play this for one. Uh, snakes. Thankfully, there are no snakes for either. Then I will play this for one. If you go outside, there are a ton of these bad boys just waiting to be stepped on, which they typically don't act like they enjoy, it, but suspiciously seem to. Enjoy. Perfect. Here we go by six strong zeros for the equivalent of eight American dollars. Overplay this. Thank you, Tank. Look at top. Even if you're if I look at top, I put it underneath this as a marker, and then I'll go ahead and brainstorm. Well, guess what the opposite of death adder is? One, That's right. Two, Life subtractor. Four, you just can't four, win. They're always two steps so. ahead. Uh, hit one. So uh, stonefish. One. Stonefish are Grab a dumb fish counter. even dumber design because even though they hate being poked by children, they nevertheless decide to disguise themselves as Chat, a I'm sorry. shallow coastal area. I promise. I'm sorry. Like, bro, everyone's going to want to flip you so over. So concerned my mouth is wrong or the whole disguise is I'm going in the comments, sir. Okay. Final web spiders. Loves wearing functional boots. Red when do those change? Spiders. Loves comfortable seating. Strong long for face. Uh, oh, so it literally doesn't matter. Yep. Yeah. Eight electric yeah, destructive discs at a time. Front attack. Drop bear. One. A carnivorous relative of the koala bear who's Direct often attack. tried to Spread barbecues three. and other public cookouts. Has been known to plummet up to five meters from eucalyptus trees onto passers by. Has particularly sensitive hearing and becomes enraged upon hearing non Australian accents or about American tipping culture. Its favorite food is Woolworth's generic sausages placed diagonally on a slice of plain white bread. But will also Shout out, I apologize for my language. On a thick coat of margarine. Hates Vegemite. Walks jellyfish. Uh, loves the beach, but is very predatory and has been known to lure half naked girls back to their lair by offering them free hand and for fruits. A lot of people think that you're supposed to treat a jellyfish sting by peeing on the affected area. What well, this doesn't happen? actually do anything, and at the end of the day, you're just another weird guy at the beach peeing on their daughter's leg. Um, you're what, are, what, are we, what are we listening to? What is this? One of these stings you oh, develop such a severe sense of impending doom that people beg their doctors Dusty to do their apartment. <laughs> that means goodbye. Uh, I know what that means. I will use this effect. Makes you want to kill yourself. Uh, ditch and pay one. Tier. It Send kills everyone. Everyone. Spawn. It also happens to start with S. And then I'll Stingrays. use this effect to pay one. How big are they? See, I haven't even ditch. said anything about them yet. Send us to memory and, and you're already sad. Oh, oh, no problem. For I know, no problem. They're For not some. that big. They're, uh, what? So they're 1,500 to themselves. Uh, so they're, what, 3K? That's 12.5. 14K. 15, 15K. 15 15K. 15K. 15K on defense. Hexproof. The good news is, no I've heard that girls think freckles are pretty cute. And I, I'm sure this is because girls love bad boys. And when they see a guy with freckles, they think, damn, that guy's tougher than the sun. So, yeah. S tier. Yeah, 15k so, hexproof. This is 7k. So, seeing as we're all so quarantining ourselves, yeah, they're got a friend. protecting for both girls and the sun. And the virus thing, the only thing left to worry about is running out of things to watch on the computer. And with today's sponsor, ExpressVPN, in just one click, you can reroute your IP address to over 94 different countries, which allows you to continue to binge watch content. I hope this man has anti change counter in hand, otherwise, um, so he's going to fucking um, run all VPN over him. some suggestions on how you can use the service to watch new content, and they were like, Yeah, if you reroute from the US to the UK, you can watch Rick and Morty on Netflix. And I was thinking, yeah, I, I don't watch that. And then they were like, oh, well, you can watch your name if you prefer that. Carmen, you do not just try to fucking watch me. They stop suggesting. Well, they also have all the Studio Ghibli movies that I was like. Are you just, like, just okay, jamming yeah, into me? Ones, I'll watch them. Yeah, why well, wouldn't I? <laughs> but no, they're so bigger than you. So no, they're not. They them. gain 3K. Um, oh, sure. You anyway, know what? When you connect to a different server, yeah. ExpressVPN yeah, no problem. all the data, uh, so not Oh, he had no problem, dude. Parties, okay. Even by ExpressVPN themselves. This makes it so no one is able to steal your information, even over public Wi-Fi. And more importantly, your girlfriend won't be able to see all the eucalyptus oil you've been buying for your um, skin. So if you'd like to find out how you can get three months for free, make sure you click the link in the description or head to expressvpn.com forward slash casually explained. Go ahead. Brian? Yeah. Joyce. Sure. Monster, you're a monster. 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 You're a monster.
Four three? Yeah. How big is this song attack? Are you looking the for same a new bed? Size? Well, you're well, in what is because it? Because I have one, and I want to sell it to you. Please buy my bed. Nothing one five, it's fourteen a five, sixteen five. Or no, hey, they're even bigger than that. Hold on. Like it started twelve five. They gained three k. Seventeen five. How's it seventeen five? They gained three k when they hit the board. Yeah. Okay. This is a two k assist. Yeah. Combo. Then the one k from this. Sure. Seventeen five. Twelve five. Fourteen five. Fifteen. Good They're good beds. Ain't nothing bad. Ever. Fifteen. Or keeps asking for these beds because they're not hexproof, beds, right? But I don't let them no. beds anymore because. Pay one. I like the sauce to go on beds. Never showed this to nobody before, but I got this. Target this. This can go to waiting room. Sure. I use an act. Give this five hundred power. So this is at eighteen k. Sure. How much? Three. I need this bed out of my house by Tuesday because on Tuesday I'm having a potluck and I can't have people coming to my potluck asking why the hell there's two beds against the wall. Five. Can you imagine the questions? Yep, five. Hey, uh, why do you have two beds? How embarrassing! Buy my bed! Cancel on five. Sack. Nope. Drop turn. They need to hold on. Sure. Green no screen, ain't nothing bad ever happen on these beds. Good oh. choice, the pants. Just by my bed. Excuse me, by my bed. Ring, ring, hello, by my bed. Just by my bed. Oh, no, please just by my bed. Yeah, I can't. Go ahead. By my bed. Knock, knock, what time is it? Oh, it's 4.16, by my bed. Give this 500 power, start up, give this 1,000 power. Sure. One, two, three. <coughs> That's really ha ha funny. Okay. So we do. Direct for two. Choice. Cancel. Um, choicing. This two one in the sock. Two. Power. I'm over you. Power. Infinitely. I'm infinitely over you, I promise. Are you over 13.5? Yes. Okay. I'm at base 13.5, 15k. Cancel. Yeah. Um, hold on one second. I'm still, I'll grab this to hand. Effect of this on reverse, I'll pay to discard one. Or two. Hey fellas, I'm here with the new game Sky Girl. It just came out. This game is getting great reviews. I've heard some great things from Sure. From Joe YouTube. Uh, it's a first person shooter. I feel like everybody plays IKEA more, so I'm just gonna make a sign. Already back, boys. We already got more booze. It's really him. Derek, ladies and gentlemen, the Skyrim is here to save me. Oh my god. Seven. Thank you, Skyrim. I love you. Oh, Skyrim's here. Sorry. It's right. Womp. Womp. Ariga, thank you. What have I done? <laughs> That's six tall boys for eight seventy five. Woo! Can't get that in America. That's for sure. No, you can't. Right. Sky river waits. And there's a picture around every corner. What? Why am I a dog now? Oh god. Is that what I think it is? 
Was that a it's, giant it's, tail? That was, oh, it is that giant tail. It is giant tail. It is giant tail. You go, you turn around. Oh, you missed him. Oh, Bellathor, fuck you. Which one died? Take your fish. It wasn't me. Three. Three? Yeah. That's true. I want to do it again, man. I want to do it again. Oh, watch out. Uh, 15k. Don't care. Five, five. Don't give a shit. Can't do anything. Okay. Brains. They can fight archers. Shoot those trains out of the sky. Oh, God. Surprise. Be careful, Crayon Box. This is the power I possess. You want to money match me? This is what you gotta beat. You're just sagging me. You're not even doing anything. I know, but I'm gonna sack him too. So then I can get my E6 Sam or whatever the heck we're gonna bet on Star Rail. <laughs> insane. Insane gameplay. Sure. You got it. You got it. You're waiting. Hold on. Overplaying oh, brainstorm. You got it. Okay. Fun fact, Ringo Starr was the man in the top hat on Thomas the Tank Engine. Ringo Starr was? Ringo Starr from the Beatles. The drummer from the Beatles. Holy shit. Was the, right. was the fat... Oh, wow, shit, what's his name? The fat man with the top hat? How big are these? There's no way I can hit over them, right? 15K. Yeah, I don't care, man. Oh, yes. Why it sucks to be a pirate. Hey, look, I will not food me. Yeah, what's up? Sure. Like well, okay. Sure. I'll yeah, put me on you. So do you think it'd be fun Are you putting me on me? There's yeah. no cards. Well, guess what? You well, I still have to shuffle. Wrong. No, I'm not no, shuffling. No, 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 I'm not. I have to. It's a man. I'm not fooling on you. I'm not doing any stupid shit. Okay. Pork shuckle and wife cuckle and cock suckle and pirate. What else is that when I say it was really not what was cracked up to me. First, we'll talk about the food. So one staple of the pirate diet was On attack, it can give 500 power and a fork. And I love jerky as much as the next guy, but this one... I love commanding strength off In fact, it was probably closer in texture to your shoes than any meat you've ever eaten. In those days, you couldn't just snap into a Slim Jim. That's a modern luxury that we take for granted. Back then, the slogan was gnaw on Front. a Slim Jim for sure. minutes on end, grinding it between Spicy the bowls while the gallons of salt turn your mouth yeah. into a desert until the mangled hunk of flesh in your Two, mouth is just soft three, enough to be shoved four, down your greasy fucking four, pirate throat without tearing a hole. Another essential food four, item was known as hard three. Pie. This was no, essentially just flour and butter oh, dumped into point. a cracker-like brick. Beyond the fact that it was totally flavorless, hard pie was so extremely dense, to the point where pirates would often have to slam their fists down uh, on it in order to break it into pieces small enough to owie. fit in their mouth. As long as it was kept dry, hardtack was not going to resolve spoiled, this. Go although ahead. it often became infested with weevils. Ah, uh, this hurt you. Me, sir, sure. I'm a vegan, so I like, kind of sure. piece, one without any yeah, of the most beautiful okay. creatures in it. Because I love you, cut. Wait a minute. Is well, this did you do the bottom four? No. This better be hemp rope. Nah, but the weevils didn't make you sick or change the taste all that much. So, and this is true. The crew would just eat it in the well, dark. No, 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 no. So it was a choice. So that's the three. Yeah, it's a three. Yeah, chunk or a weevily Cancel. One. Then there's the crowding. So pirate ships typically pack in as Front. many crew members Did as shoot. possible. Because more pirates means more manpower when you go to board an enemy ship. Of course, nope. the downside to that is that you're basically like three. a bunch of hairy, unwashed Cancel. sardines. Let me illustrate what a typical night on deck was like. So you're sprawled out on the damp, musty wood floor. Everything's pitch this black, you can't see a thing. The smell of the filth and the mold forces you to only breathe through your Proper mouth. Turn. Suddenly, your left hand oh, feels wet, probably just seawater leaking through the hull. You sniff your hand, nope. 
No, that's How many this. climaxes you're showing something out? furry rub up against your elbow. It was either the body of a diseased rat or the beard of your diseased crewmate. Either way, that's probably where Seven. the piss came from. Okay. Some guy's moaning loudly in the next room. Hopefully he's just jerking off, because if he's dying, that's one more body to deal with Wait, in the morning. Pity. Rinse and repeat for eight hours, yep. and then it's daytime. The poor diet and cramped conditions led to disease being a huge problem aboard pirate Can't ships. The, the most well known of these diseases is scurvy, Tap, where you don't get enough start vitamin C. When scurvy first begins, you just kind of feel tired all the time, no big deal. Then you get weird spots on Darts. your skin and your gums start bleeding. Four. This progresses until all your teeth fall out and all of your body's mucous membranes start gushing blood and pus, causing you to die. So that's a lot of fun. There were tons of other diseases too, I won't go through them all, but here's a few honorable- Dick things. rot? Also, some Dick rot's a fucking disease? disease. <laughs> I might God, just I believe be it. Disturbed, but that's one sickness I could definitely get down with. If it is a disease, then yeah, just about everything- I can I also get down one. with if the anything, sickness. Though, I call that one Ooh, of the- Ah. Of pirate life. Finally, there's the combat. So you've gone through all these disgusting. I can't believe Carmen is gonna sack cancel you can me. That's so really hype. battle, right? Swinging from rope to rope, sword in your mouth, long, intense saber duels, that kind of thing. But that's Report. typically not how it went down. That's a For good one start. Time, when pirates nope. boarded a ship, nine times out of ten, Effects. they just surrender immediately. Because Report. what are a bunch of well-groomed merchants gonna do against a Five. horde of disgusting barbarians? If the defending ship did decide to fight back, though, the result uh, the wouldn't here. be anything like the movies. It'd be uh, way worse. Front attack like for free. R rating. Because pirates rely right. on right. 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 both because oh, yeah, they don't have much too. real training and because and it scares yeah, the shit out of people. Over here. If you were a deckhand for on four. an invaded ship and you were stupid enough to fight back, right. you wouldn't be dancing around the doing flips and shit. Uh, instead, they'd probably shoot Dish you one. in the stomach with right. a flintlock pistol, kick you to the ground, oh, chop off your shoulder blade with a hand axe, gouge out your eyes with a marlin spike, wind your intestines around the prow, and then only on the your body overboard. And that's only a slight exaggeration. Honestly, if Jack Sparrow got attacked by actual pirates, he wouldn't last a second. It's kind of like a used car salesman going to prison. Check? Like, because that's fine. Fine. Okay. If anybody tries intimidating me, I can get out of it with my is quick it? wit and no, charming just personality. For show. Boy, you look real pretty from behind. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm boned. So yeah, in short, if you're thinking about pulling a Captain Phillips anytime soon, I'd advise against it. Your laptop is going to be better than right this card. Like Vanilla, Attacks at the watching. total level is equal to... Okay. Then during the turn, you put... Yeah, you can do it. What are you doing? Pay for your encore. Sure. How many are you out? I have seven. Seven out. Yep. I'm on card. Hey kids, you've probably seen this scene. I feel like trying to high roll here is so much of better. Up stranded on a desert island, totally These things can burn me, right? Oh, you have to have stock. It seems like there's no to burn right. survival, but then one of them Two. looks three feet from the left, and oh my god, it's a tree Take full two. of fully grown, plump, delicious, smiling, golden skinned bananas. Amazing. We're saved for the time being. Hey, don't eat those. They're made Just of lies. <laughs> See? Listen, why do fruit exist? For a one delicious, so far. nutritious no one more after for refresh. foodies and animals alike to enjoy? You're such a fucking sap. Dude, I got nothing for you after yeah. the first <laughs> game, dude. I, I, I have no sympathy at all. The first game, like, I literally didn't even get a chance to play. So I have nothing. I have nothing for you. As most of you probably know, fruit are a thing because nature figured out, hey... If you put a little bit of deliciousness around your seed, it'll convince some idiot okay. bird or something to carry your baby off to faraway lands, right? But then humans showed up and were like, hey, that's pretty nifty. Listen, is it cool if we selectively breed you for thousands of years to give you horrific deformities to crank up that whole deliciousness part a couple hundred notches? Alright, cool. Let's take a look at bananas, specifically the Cavendish yeah, variety that we all know and know. Well, on the inside, we got like 2% seeds, 93% oh, delicious really banana meat, and 5% that brown part at the bottom that your mom says is perfectly fine. I win 1-1. One, one. Alright, the score is 1-1. One, one. I can't play Blue Archive anymore. Thank God! Get me out of here! the suspected ancestors of today's nanners, much smaller and jam-packed with seeds. Just I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. I will be right back. Wow. 
Wow, me I too. Open a yellow one with the boys. Here's another wild type banana. Musa baldesiana. Less sweet, way starchier, harder to get into. Hella seeds. Same shit, different day, really. But hey. Oh, okay. Thanks, Andrew. Yeah, you can do it on attacks every turn. Yep. You bury a modern banana, all you're gonna end up with is a dirty banana. And not that one club in Miami. I mean, an actual dirty banana. That's because, like a lot of cultivated fruit, culinary bananas are so inbred and malformed that they can't produce offspring, even if they. Oh shit! It's so the Zach show now. Please go. Oh hell yeah! Oh yeah! We are sidebarring this so fucking hard here. Oh, what are they gonna do? Nothing, because they're peeing. Ooh. For example, take the watermelon. According to Monsanto, everybody's favorite corporation, the first evidence of human cultivation of Enjoy the Sam O'Nella Academy about uh, selective breeding produce. Then, they were only two inches in diameter, around the size of a tennis ball. The flesh was supposedly tough and bitter, much like that of a tennis ball. Of course, just as the growth of a delicious green baby takes time, so too did the evolution of the modern watermelon. In fact, even as late as the mid-1600s, watermelons looked way different from what we have today, as shown by this painting by Giovanni Stanchi. Notice the thicker rind, the larger seeds, and the weird segmentation on the inside. Definitely a cooler still life subject, but ultimately inferior as a summertime snack. How about vegetables? Tell me, do you enjoy cabbage, Brussels sprouts, kale, collard greens, broccoli, or cauliflower? I mean, I guess I like broccoli and cauliflower. The rest are kind of gross. Wrong! All six of these vegetables are actually the same thing. That Whoa! Means like, oh, that's all the same vegetable. Works. I'll be good. Anyway, these veggies are all just cultivars of the same species, Brassica oleracea, otherwise known as wild cabbage. Every part of the plant is edible to some extent, but there's not much of it to go around. So a bunch of different people throughout history said, all right, what if we just take one specific part of the plant oh and go fucking God. insane with it? And Why that's what they did. Those who bred for giant leaves got kale. Rip. Going for huge, dense flower buds gets you broccoli. Juicy and gorged lateral leaf buds equal Brussels sprouts, etc. Speaking of segues, let's check out egg plants. The OG eggplants Stop was watering your plants. In India, nope. can still be found in the wild. I'll never stop they look something like plants. an eggplant, though. They actually resemble little green berries the size of grapes. The only thing it seems to have in common with the classic purple eggplant is how little both of them have in common with an egg. However, if we add the RGB percentage values of their color and merge... Jesus them, Christ! What the like hell are we egg. listening so I guess that's to? All that mystery. It's all you guys are playing Japanese anime stuff. games. I'm trying to educate the People. Them until you Educate what? Grimace what the fuck are you talking? Look, there's grimace. This is grimace lore. Four arms. This is a real thing. I'd like to think that when they lopped off his extra limbs, all his evil energy were with. You are not allowed to metagame based on my sleeves. Cylinders scamping around the countryside, waiting to pull unsuspecting kids under ball pits, never to be seen again. That's just yeah. what McDonald's head cannon though. Anyway, back I'm to just killing this again. We talking about. Next is I don't even know what that is. Pork, sorry. Okay. Maize. I call it corn. Like it's really cool because both of these, these are in Elena sleeves. These would be both of my remaining decks are in Elena sleeves. Like perfect opportunity, but they're not. So put an etymological sock in. Ah, uh, 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 fucking euphony can suck my own Steve. Nope. Yep. What a cool card. I love giving me resources for the next turn. Which looks like this. Dude, I have no. Sympathy. I triggered a climax, first attack, never paid it out. Whereas modern corn has a yep. killed you anyway. Yep. You are literally I love white shorts. You are literally losing the entire game. You lost board. I wasn't even losing the entire game. You didn't lose I didn't lose board. You knew anti changed me, sure. Yeah. So you lost in the lane, you got anti changed And you lost. You spent all your sock to anti changed me, sure. When you were already behind. You didn't think I fell on that on purpose? Of course I did. I don't believe you. Not to visit the Mayans if I ever get a time machine. Nonetheless, as you can see, human endeavor can accomplish amazing things. And just what am I gonna do? Side three lanes? That's dumb as fuck. Well, yeah. I mean, like I'm hexproof. You can't actually win that exchange. It's not like I can walk into your anti-change. Skillshare is an online learning. That combo's bad. What's that? Who goes first? Well, we have to decide. I love Alex. I think it's only fair to... It's only fair to what? I'm first. He's still going first. Alright, 1-1. One, one. I'll discard... I'm going first. 
three. <laughs> oh my god. It's the mirror match. So without further ado, these are the top ten reasons why David S. Pumpkins needs to be the new Super Smash Brothers. Number ten. I recall all the cards I just gave you. You have to give them back to me. Link? Nope. Samus? They're too serious. Sure. I just want to comment that Nico and I's decks are not representative of the Japanese meta. We yeah. just all own the exact same decks. <laughs> Me and Carmen have very similar tastes in anime and shit. So, uh, yeah. Uh, direct. Two. Front. One. Pass. This thing doesn't do anything, right? No, it's just... It's just the spawn right here afterwards, yeah. Me and Carmen have very similar tastes in anime and everything, so yeah. Uh, most of our decks kind of reflect that. Carmen and I... Keep yourself safe, Zach. Grammar is I would never, I would never hope that anything bad happens to you, but you need to keep yourself safe. Brother, I just want case. bad things to happen to me. Just in case. The Scouts and B-Boys will be an incredible addition right. to the yeah. ever-growing cast of assist trophies. Cancel. Could you imagine deal with not just one, one. Scouts and B-Boys? Take one. Let's go to that. Yep. Smashing may never be the same. Three. Cancel. Number six. All right. How uh, are we to have David Holiday? I love it. Number five. <laughs> Tom Hanks will finally be a new video game. The last time we saw Tom Hanks likeness in a video game was 2003's Polar Express. <laughs> what the fuck am I listening to? Alex made this. It's the good <laughs> shit, Nico. I only do good shit. <laughs> I don't know about that, buddy. Redemption. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay. All right. All right. Redemption. So he's got this fucking smirk on his face now. No, I was laughing at the David S. Pumpkin. How fun would it be not just to hear the original version of that iconic song David does his own thing to, but an orchestrated version? Wow. 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 Okay, buddy. All right, chill, dude. Chill, chill, chill. All right, dude. I got it. I got it. You got a fucking massive penis. I understand. The Magnum Dong, dude. <laughs> Sam, go fuck yourself, Fox. Go fuck yourself. You think you can beat me in a money match? You gotta sack as hard as this motherfucker. I'm the best. I'm the fucking best white shorts player. I'm the best. I'm the best. That's all. I'm, so, I'm the best. I'm so shit at this game. I'm so shit. I'm the best. He's gonna hit on this brain so much. I'm the best. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I have to play through, dude. This is so funny. Plus, lose our childlike optimism. With that being said, salvage one more Arsa. What are you doing? 
That's a salvage. I know. Why are you looking through your deck? I already grabbed this. You look through your deck. No, I didn't. You literally look through I'm your- counting the okay. cards. Oh, there is a guy here. Um, it doesn't matter. I'll stick with it. I want to make the memory anyway. Man, five years. Sure, dog. Yeah. You got it, buddy. <laughs> yep. Nice job. Yeah. Grab Climax Swap, sure. Level 3, sure. 12 years, 11 years old? See how it holds up. Okay. Two. Take two. What's your favorite idea? Mine is being creative. Oh, you got the idea. Go ahead. I just tried to think creatively. creatively. Now, when you look at this orange, tell, tell me, please, please. What, what do you, you see? It's just a boring old orange. Maybe to you, but not sure. to me. I see a silly face. Walking along, smiling at me. I don't I guess I'll take three. Go ahead. But you're not thinking creatively. So take a look at my hair. I use my hair to express myself. That sounds really boring. I use my hair to express myself. Now, when you stare at the clouds in the sky, don't you find it exciting? No. Mm -hmm. Well, this goes to wait here. I'll have to talk about it. Is your yacht? Seven. Nine. What are you missing? Mm -hmm. Which climax are you missing? So some total jerk watch just said that my laugh was gross. So I turned around and I said, yeah, well, your face is gross. <laughs> yes, no, we have prom time rapping. Let's go ahead and get into it. We got our challenge over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay. <laughs> Front attack. Let's go ahead and get it to our main Check man, four. the champion himself. No need for introduction. Get him, Murray. Uh, for two, three. I'm not a rapper. I'm not a rapper. I'll do that in my shorts one day. Hey, 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 hey. I'm not going to coin flip. I'll go first. I'll go first. <laughs> I'll go first. 
In number. Psych! That's the wrong number! Oh! Zach has the best videos. I love I love 12 year old memes. Is it 12 year old? I'm curious now. It's, <laughs> it's gotta be like. It. I drink that. Uh, front. 11 years old. Three. I spit that. March oh, can cut this? March 18th, 2013. Oh, Go ahead, sir. Go ahead, sir. It's all you, sir. Go ahead. Dozo. Dozo. I'm not a rapper, though. Guys, I'm not a rapper. Brother, please stop. We'll try. Stop being a fucking goober, dude. Is this what they put me up against? Super hot? I never heard of you. I'm looking at him like, is he stupid? I'm about to murder you. My crew ain't waiting for me. I'm like, but when you lose, you'll be mauling. I don't know about that, Box. I don't know about that. Wow, banish a card. Wow. Incredible, dude. You got the bouncer. You're so cool. Bro, you're so cool with that card, dude. You're so cool. Psycho. Psycho, dude. Two attacks. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go to attacks. Poggius. Okay. Yep. What is zero? You got it. Alright, alright, check me out. Check me out. Hey, kill it off for me. Let's end this. I'm about to end this man's whole career. <laughs> oh! What career? I'm not a rapper. What career? Gonna end him. But I'm not a rapper. Boom. Bam. Bop. <laughs> Boom. Bam. Bop. I'm gonna eat loud. Oh, Correct for three. This is prime time rapping. You see what goes down. We're done here. It's a wrap. Champion, Hawks just won that. Pull him down. Pull him down. Okay. Like, this is, it, it's such a good bit. It's such a good bit. I'm so sad this guy nuked his whole channel just so he could get a comedy bit and fail. Really? Did he really? I only know, like, these three, like, videos. Yeah, no, that's the lore. The lore, well, he had, like, 30 or 40 videos, because he did, like, I think he went up against, like, <laughs> Eminem and Soldier Boy. Failed, but then, like... What, they didn't take the bit? Yeah, he tried to apply for Comedy Central, but they told him no. Refresh damage? Uh, how Shame. much is that for? Three? Uh, yeah. Three. Cancel. Go ahead. Oh, good bit. Great bit. Let's go. Cancel. Go ahead. I mean, everything I'm doing is a great bit. In this video, I'll beat two levels. One of which looks easy at first, but in reality, mm -hmm. only one person was able to beat it with a collect of 127,000 tries from players. And the other level is even more difficult, it. with many hard to pull out tricks in a row. Three. Percentage-wise, yes. this was the second mm -hmm. lowest clear rate level in Mario Maker 2. The level is only 20 seconds and looks like your average Mario level, but the timer is extremely tight, Same. and a lot of speedrun techniques are needed to beat Same. it. Draw. At the start of the level, I do some walk jumps um, to get up to full speed, and then jump as I touch the ground no to retain. No clock draw. Why do I have any brainstorm? 
Nigo's been such a powerful player just staying at 1 6 every single game. I'm the best. I won't jump as fast as possible so I don't lose momentum. Do some more jumps to keep my speed and slide into the goal. And play this. Going into battle. Yeah. Obviously, that level is a little short, so I had to be the harder level for this video as well. I'll send this to Stomp. Remember. In the beginning of the level, I jump one, the spring to launch one the shaft to the block, and then jump off the same Choice. spring to gain height. Oh, I already hand to you. Okay, so. okay. In this part, I have to juggle Four, these two bottoms and a shell to eventually hit an on-off switch. One. Okay, so. okay. Pass. Here, I throw the spring against another one so I'm able to jump off of it, and then comes the hardest section of the level. In this trick, I land on Yoshi midair, use it to do a shell jump, take this spring, spit it out, and jump off Yoshi at the same time, spin jump off the spring, and then get more height spinning off the piranha I bounce with it. In this last part, I throw this bob bomb so I can land on it in a shell, use the shell to release a spring. This isn't like the fucking walkthrough of that guy being like, bro, you go into an alternate universe. Do a shell jump to reach oh, no, it's not the half an A jump. I can throw the half an A jump on <laughs> if you want. Bro, that, that video was powerful. That video is so fucking I watched that on the 10-hour drive back from Atlanta, Georgia to Dude, Pittsburgh, the Pennsylvania. Half, the half A button press is actually That cool. was insane. That yeah, was an like, insane nah, video. fuck it. I'm throwing it on. I, like, it's... It's if you legitimate, see my videos, like, you be like, yeah, bro, you just need to know about this alternate universe pocket dimension, dude. Are you a stupid idiot? <laughs> Why don't you know about this alternate universe pocket dimension in speedrunning, idiot? So I had him smash his head on the wall. Oh shit! I don't actually know what it's called. There's one that's 25 minutes and one that's five and a half hours, so I don't know which one it is. This it's is probably the 25 minute one. Let's try it. Oh, wait. That's right. The square hole. Of course, that's the square hole. And how about this rectangle? Rectangle. Awesome. The rectangle goes in the square hole. Up next, you've got this thin rectangle. Thin rectangle. Guess where that goes? A thin rectangle. That's right. That's right. The, the square hole. hole. The square hole. All right, the next okay. shape is. The oh, the cylinder. cylinder. Mm. Where does that go? Two. That goes How many are you going back? Oh, that's right. Eight. Okay. The square hole. The um, square hole. Also got the semicircle. Oh, the right semicircle. Oh. Do you see a slot that would fit the semicircle? Oh, the square hole. That's right. The square hole. It's the square hole. Up next, the triangle. We know where the hole that goes. The triangle. Right. That's right. The square hole. The square hole. That's right. The square hole. It goes in the square hole. Unfortunate. Take two. Wallow. Waluigi. The tall bastard man that Nintendo Good. loves to disrespect. Right. Yep. We know he is number one, one. but who really okay. is he? And where did he come from? Take one. And why hasn't Nintendo given him his own game? The cult following two. of Waluigi yeah. cannot be overstated. So? What is incredible luck I have. He's the patron saint of weird content creators. But isn't it strange? That this character, so beloved by Nintendo fans, okay. seems to be completely disregarded by the company? I don't Stand believe that's wrong. actually the truth. Nintendo cares almost no too much wrong. about I will their go ahead and I'll they brainstorm. They rarely put a character into a game unless they're 100% sure One, it's a good two, fit. Three, and I think this is the two. reason why... Well, See, we have somebody who respects Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared here. Doesn't know. We have good bits on the background here. So, Doug Bowser, Let's I have collected every see. single piece of Waluigi lore into this one Rico? simple video, and I'll be presenting it to you, so oh, you sure. can finally so grab make that Waluigi What else do you want to get? <laughs> Only good bits on the background. This is my first attempt. I'll get better. In order to understand Waluigi perfectly, we have to take a look at every appearance How he's made Rico in a Nintendo Rico, game. Honestly. They're the only ones that count toward canon. If you'd like me to discuss Waluigi's non-canonical appearances, Rico, I can definitely do that Rico. for you, Doug. It'll just have to be in my off hours, because it is definitely not safe for work. Here's every Waluigi appearance sorted by release date. 
These 63 games contain the entire of Waluigi's characterization. He's playable in 50 of them, and we can split those playable games into sports and party games. I combed through each of these appearances, grasping at any piece of Waluigi characterization, yeah, this... but the vast majority of them Actually, treat I... Waluigi yeah, as a meat 100%. puppet, um... a space filler, an extra body on the character select screen. And honestly, that's one way to see Waluigi. It's I hear you, Doug Bowser. Why should I care about a space filler character? Well, you already care about a space filler character. A little fella named Mario. Let's discuss okay. Waluigi's counterparts to shed some light Direct on effects. his origin. The original Donkey Kong was supposed to have Popeye characters, Grab but Nintendo couldn't this. get the license, so Shigeru Miyamoto created an unnamed player character as a stand-in. And that space filler was later named Mario. People think that characters have to have Contact. some deep backstory in One. order for people to like them, but Refresh. that's not true. Uh, should be people seven. love Mario because One, of two, his humble origins. Three. The same cannot be said about the rightfully spiced Four, five, character. Five, never mind, six. Luigi. I guess one of these is you see, Luigi was made because they needed a player. I forget which made, one. So they just palette swapped Mario. That is a character filling a space by copying another filled space. As much as I hate it, doesn't matter. I Triple Hamari is going to kill him from 3 0. It always video does. Because he is key to developing the personality of Waluigi. And that's partially because of Wario. Wario wasn't made by Miyamoto. Supposedly, the team behind Super Mario Land 2 Six Golden Coins didn't enjoy being forced to make a Mario game because they didn't create the character. So, Hiroji Kiyotake created a bad Mario. Someone that had all of Mario's evils exaggerated. And finally, we have Waluigi, who was created by the same character designer who worked on Golden Sun. The guy who made Satoros and Isaac. Oh, we love Golden Sun here. powerful characters used his talents to make the most intense, most powerful character. And he made him for a very important reason. Take her fish damage. Because Wario didn't have a doubles partner in Mario Tennis. If Wario is just the evil, exaggerated form of Mario, then One. Waluigi's the same for Luigi. And that's really all we get from Waluigi's first encounter. That and the fact that Luigi That's really is cool. Not I can't believe I'm gonna die to Himari from 2-3. That's so funny. Why would you die? The milksop who is afraid of all is not afraid of <laughs> Do you see how I play Y Schwartz Carmen? Uh-huh. Luigi so that. that but I don't know if I can quite grasp it without discussing all of the lore first. So let's switch back. As I mentioned before the tangent, Waluigi often plays the role of meat puppet, so not all oh, of these clock. games have lore that is useful you know to what? us in I think I'll clock. the Waluigi game. So I can heal it off with Kamari this turn. We're left with five references to Waluigi, and seven sir. party yep. games, and 13 sports games. From these 25 appearances, we wow, no hits. Okay, buddy. And you got it. <laughs> that means you're fucking dead next turn. That's <laughs> really funny. Those Here, Smash chat, has notoriously chat, do you see this? The trophies do a he's chat, fucking, he's real. He's fucking dead. Chat, if I survive, real. he's fucking dead. Isn't that funny? Three sentences. This tall, I'm sorry, Carmen. Go ahead, sir. Seems to be I don't have more than one him are. Four things right there. <laughs> evil looking seems to be Luigi's rival. That one really isn't definitive, so we'll keep it ambiguous. He works hard at his mischief. Yeah, Luigi okay. Luigi reportedly spent a lot of time That's training for his debut in Mario Tennis by honing his ability to antagonize the Mario Brothers. While Luigi is a mischief maker, and he takes it seriously. While it's general knowledge that he's the same age as Luigi, his fun. relationship to that Mario would be is unclear. Luigi is exactly Are you gonna the same age as Luigi, and I do not it know would be that funny. reflects the worst <laughs> on. Also, Brother, you do what you feel is right. Is uh, that's all I'm going to tell you. But no one's ever cared to take a closer look. If you think that's the correct play, the then I think you deserve it. Lovers? It's unclear. The next Smash games really hammer home these truths, only adding that he must also have a crooked mustache, a large nose, and a lot of... my climaxes are foil. You can't fucking tell by the fucking bending. <laughs> no, I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at how much you have left. Battle, where a large I'm killing you next turn. The refresh point matters. This is the closest Waluigi has ever. The refresh point doesn't matter. In a plot-based Mario game. Yeah, a we'll fucking do it. rabbit okay. has had more screen time than the original. One, two, Waluigi. three, four, five, like six, seven, eight, nine. nine. 
as we move on to the party games, a lot of Wall of Wonders lore is really The main additions are that he is a peasant bloke who loves to party. There are two strange pieces of info in the party games. In Mario Party 5, each pairing gets a different team name, and Mario plus Wall of Wonders are pseudo bros. Not enemies. It seems like Mario is okay Take working two. with Waluigi instead Take of two. Luigi. The second weird piece of info is in right. Mario Party 4, yep. where Waluigi is described to be that choice. Waluigi's a serious sneak. Watch out for his sparky sticker. This quote doesn't have any useful info for us, but the phrase, watch out for his sparky sticker, is the worst and I hate it, and why'd you put it in a family-friendly video game, Nintendo? Finally, we have mm -hmm. the sports games, where Waluigi Four. started. Mario Tennis set the tone for Waluigi with two truths. Cancel. One, that he's Burn not two a skilled as a player, and two, two, that Luigi is not afraid of him. Blue. This one's still weird. These ones Direct. are quotes that reiterate what we Four. know about Waluigi. He's hardworking and he's skilled, even if he cheats sometimes. We Take have some kind of physical characterization mm -hmm. in Super Mario mm -hmm. Strikers, where the legend states Waluigi's four, five, ego six, tends seven, to be nine, his biggest enemy. Yeah. In Mario Hoops 3 on 3, his uh, name is The Question. I believe in the hardest part. Which solidifies him as an enigma. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games oh. shows that Waluigi is a great jumper, and Waluigi's three. move in Mario Super Sluggers is the Liar Ball, which is a ball that Die Jovo Dix! I hope I win. I have triple Hamari. In Mario okay. Super Tennis, there is a blooper reel where Waluigi is aware that this is all a show. Does this mean that Waluigi is able to break the fourth wall? Or does it prove what I already knew? That Waluigi is great on camera. It's hot on the news lights. Anyone else on here? I'm just gonna pop this bad boy off. And in Mario Tennis Power Tour, Waluigi appears without Wario. Their relationship was never clear, but it is surprising that Waluigi, who was built to be Wario's tennis partner, can appear in a tennis game without him. Luigi's still there. Why can't Waluigi exist without Luigi? Save us all a headache. And that's basically all of the Waluigi lore you can learn from the games. The 23 hey, Waluigi Truths. And you can use them to create a Waluigi video game. And I could stop this video here, Doug. But I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll do you a favor. I'll tell you what I think the Waluigi game should look like, since I've done the research for you. If you're gonna make a Waluigi game, you're gonna need to make hey, it Mari. distinct. Nintendo does a great job of tying gameplay to what makes a character special. Mario's got platformers locked. Wario has eccentric, greedy micro games. Luigi. You know what? Let's actually go through Luigi's truths and see how it led to Luigi's man. Luigi is foolish. He's a coward. He's weak. He's pitiful. And you take these truths and you think, hmm, what kind of setting would allow this mistake of a human to really exhibit his uselessness? A haunted house. Let's this see. man 11, has 5, been bamboozled into comedic 13. haunted house entrapment. Three yeah, times. Sure. Something I guess I have to crunch your first front. Have only been front three. Into once. He's Four. a big dumb idiot, and I would hate to be front associated two. with him. But Waluigi is Luigi's Roll twisted here. reflection. So his game uh, will be three. far removed from three. this nothing. Let's make it. First, we're going to move the truth oh, that I have are to physical use traits to the side, since they're baked into Waluigi. <clears throat> Next, we have to decide on a cast of characters. Honestly, Front. Waluigi has been sidelined for so long Power. that this needs been... to be a solo mission. Now, I, I, I need to know if If you were to separate um... them out, you could probably make dozens of different games. Uh, a mischievous prank game. A uh, game where Waluigi oh, gets wasted this... every night. And I'm gonna it is. Games, I only have three, so. 11k. 12k. 12.5. To be cast aside by society. Who For three. is this Not big enigma of sure. a man whose true enemy is himself? The Waluigi game. Like yeah, let's say so. That does mystery. stand. Nintendo already has wonderful mystery games, but they're too cute. Waluigi is raw, he's real. To convey the complex emotions of a complex man, we can't rely on traditional animation styles. The Waluigi video game should be full motion video. Doug, I know this is a wild concept. <laughs> Nintendo is not known for live action video <sighs> mysteries. 
But Waluigi is just the intellectual property to explore this new genre. Imagine Waluigi as a hard-nosed investigator struggling to pick apart the pieces of who he is. A man solving himself. I mean, there is the issue of casting. You gotta find someone who is evil-looking and has a crooked mustache and a big nose and is great at jumping. You know, that's, yeah. a, that's a hard task to find one guy who's got all those features, you know? Well, now, wait a second, Doug. If you take a look at my troops, you'll find that they're nearly the same as Waluigi's. I'm hardworking, I'm a bit of a scamp, and though I might not be as tall and Thank lean, you. there's enough of me that wants to be Waluigi that I devote everything out. to be. I don't need this role, Doug. I've spent the past few Fun months devising this picture for you. No one wants this more, cares more about Waluigi than I do. I will fight Charles Martinet for this role. Is that what you want, Doug? You pick the weapons. I will end his career. This is like 2021, before Chris Pratt was even Mario. And that's why I hope you'll consider me for Waluigi's currently untitled full motion video game. Mm-hmm. But there's something that's still nagging at me. Okay. I'm sure you noticed that I didn't address all of these Waluigi truths. Why does every single quote state that Waluigi thinks he's Luigi's rival? Uh, you could read this as Waluigi not being important enough for Luigi to consider him as a rival, but why go through the trouble of putting that in every single description? Why not just make their rivalry canon? And the fact that Luigi is not afraid of him Do you play Man King? You could. Luigi's personality is 90% fear and 10% being green. Mario is shocked when Waluigi appears, and yet Luigi is calm, like he's somehow expected. And if Waluigi thinks his biggest enemy is Luigi, then how can his actual biggest enemy Carmen's be Carmen's over here being like, I, I fucking clocked you the climax, guys. Now I have to think about the attack order. And, and yeah. You wow. You clocked you the climax, dude. You're so cool. Go ahead. Sure. Mm-hmm. And Waluigi's 13.5, it's over. Are the same person. Three. It's so simple. Luigi is just manifesting his own repressive Frontal. desires they want as an or a direct for five. A shocking twist that no one's ever done in media before. While Luigi is just the exaggerated fucking insane. Of Luigi's Eat shit. Who wants to be skilled? Who wants to be respected? Who wants to party? While Luigi okay. Is everything cool game. Luigi wishes he could be, but could never be under the famous gaze of his famous brother. What an amazing truth. What an amazing truth. What an amazing truth for me. Because yeah, all we think of the Apple game will ever yeah, you did it, dude. I got nothing for you, bro. Yeah, you did it, dude. I got nothing for yeah, you, dude. Yeah, you did it. You came back from a shitty position and you did it. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Killed you. Yeah, you did. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. Where's Dean at? Oh, my God. I'm throwing cards around. On Wednesday. I'm the best. I'm the best. You're taking the train I'm on the Wednesday. Best. I, I, ain't, I ain't driving you. Only got one day left. I'm the best. You're taking the train on I'm Wednesday. I'm the best. You can be the best. I'm the best. This is your train money, dude. I can't I'm wait the for best. Me and Nico to have I'm a the good best. conversation on the way to the station. Walk <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> well, 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 I go with my train. two luggages. You know Yes. Hey, man, I did it once. I'll do it again. Yeah. I guess you are doing it again. That's crazy. <laughs> wow, well, you're admitting defeat already? Nope. Zach, from, check the camera. I can't. Just tell. from that last game, buddy. 
It's so hard to stop. I'm 99% sure it hasn't changed. It wow, it hasn't changed at all. <laughs> and it's delicious. Good thing my last deck is an aggro coin flip deck. That's really funny. Huh? That's really funny. I'm the best player, Nico. Yep. I'm the best. Yep. I'm the best. You sure are? And you're you're fucking taking the train. In this airport. video, I'll be explaining exactly what I do. Thank God, I have an hour of procrastinating videos. But first, that's crazy. To clear something up. All right, TJ Henry Yoshi. I get the same comments over and over asking what it means, even though I always have a whole paragraph in the description explaining it, which even starts with, if you're wondering what a half apress is, read this before commenting to ask. But maybe what you guys need isn't a paragraph. Maybe you guys need an example. So, consider Wing Mario over the rainbow. Not what? even the whole song. Just consider getting to that cannon platform which is a necessary part of getting the star. So, how many A presses does it take to get there? Well, if you say zero, that's wrong, because then Mario can't go far enough. If you say one, well, it's true that Mario can get there two? with one, okay. but just one. we can do a little oh, better. Sure. We can do it in half two. an A press. To do that, we start the level already one. holding A, and then we use that A press to reach the platform. Now, hold on. I know what you're thinking. An A press is an A press. You can't say it's only a half. Well, TJ Henry, Henry Yoshi, hear me out. An A press actually has three parts to this it. Is the when A is pressed, literally, when A is held, and I don't say it lightly, the most released. autistic together, video I've ever seen in terms of press. semantics now, in my entire life. As an people, education, because that's the only part like, that makes this is just jump. Too. God, or, fuck. Sometimes it's sufficient to just use the holding part. Which allows Mario to do little kicks, to swim in water, to fall yes, slowly while twirling, you are, bro. and to fall slowly with the wing cap. And as for the release, well, there's okay. certainly Three no five. pieces where that's useful for or choice. important, so uh, don't worry about that part. Send now, to stop. if we map out the required A presses for wing Mario over the Giant. rainbow, it would look like this. Three. We merely need to hold A to reach the cannon platform, we need to press A Direct. to launch from the first cannon, Two. and we need to press A again to launch from the second range. cannon. Go ahead. So, how many A presses is that <clears> total? <throat> well, it appears to be three, and if we were doing this star in isolation, then yeah, it would be three. But, in a full game A button challenge run, there are other A presses that occur earlier in the run, such well, as what this if there's a solar flare? Force. So, if we take that A press into consideration as well, then how many A presses would it take? The naive answer would be four. One to enter the course, and the three within the course that we established earlier. However, we can do better. We can actually do it in three by simply holding out the first A press to be used for the half A press. You hit two? Because the half A wow. press only requires wow. you to be held. Not actually pressed. So in this match, I see my opponent today is the strongest White Schwartz player. Two A presses. That's so good. Since the first A press just leeches off of a I can't wait for the winner's interview. The first A press, a press leeches off of the first. Go for it, buddy. On a single star basis, you'd round that up to three. But in a full mm -hmm. game run, you'd round it down to two. Mm -hmm. So, in conclusion, since that first Yo, A press counts as the uh, the winner's interview and then go no to a, a, an individual in interview context, in a mirror, we refer to it no. as a half A press. No. So, going but back to the video, show the you can see that I start the level with the A button already held, as indicated in the bottom left corner. And so, in the full game run, this A press will just leech off of a previous one, and so it won't incur an additional A press. Okay, glad that's explained. Now, what am I doing in the video? Here, I'm using a trick called Scuttlebug nope. Transportation. Three. You see, like most enemies, Scuttlebugs have a home, Take three. which is just a point in 3D space, and Two. they'll patrol a certain Two. radius around oh, the so they're starting so with a explanation. They'll lunge at him to attack. Pass. But, unlike Two. most other enemies, a Scuttlebug's home can change positions. Because if a scuttlebug uh, comes keep... into Mario, sure. the scuttlebug's Two? home Two. will update to where the scuttlebug was when the collision occurred. Two. So, by strategically lowering the scuttlebug to the edge of its radius uh, and bumping into it, we can effectively transport the scuttlebug and its home. So, that's what I'm doing here. Smart. Note that we can't actually transport a scuttlebug to outside of its native room. 
they actually get stuck at the door. So if your dream was to bring well, I'll do the things thing. together for one big jamboree, I'm sorry, you can't. Well, it's not going to happen. You can't bring so them all together for one big jamboree. Why would they disappear if they walk into a wall while too far below their current home? So I do have to be careful to avoid that. It's pretty weird if you've never seen it before, but I'm pretty sure they did it so that if a skeleton well, jumps needs to into go a here. hole, it wouldn't just walk around down there. Anyway, oh wait, no, this is not even go here. Because I've triggered a choice. What do you mean? Okay. Because next, I do a trick called scuttlebug raising, and here's how it works. Scuttlebug so raising. Just the music cuts. And on the right, do it I show it you from the side. I told you that this is Borf's brother, right? The scuttlebug deactivates. Oh, damn. That's because the room and everything in it are only it's Borb's brother. In the room, or standing in a small region. So right he got the all of the tech skill. Pan and Kalek is Borb's so brother. Yeah. It's that's in all the tech skill the Borb doesn't have. Region, well, no, Brett does that shit on purpose because he's a everything troll. Everything in the room will be invisible and won't move. Conveniently, this allows us to raise the scuttlebug by performing the following steps. Scuttlebug First, raising. Enters the scuttlebug's radius. I'm performing the scuttlebug raising. And can't move around. It can still turn towards Mario and activate a lunge. Then Mario leaves the radius okay. and the scuttlebug Draw returns turn. to facing its home. Next, I'll Mario enters Trump the too. yellow region to activate the scuttlebug. The scuttlebug will perform the lunge that it's How is this? but cleverly we have the yellow region right when the scuttlebug is at the peak of its trajectory, thereby deactivating it so it won't fall down. And finally, since the scuttlebug moves past its home, it turns around to face its home once more. Now, we've gotten all the height we could out of the scuttlebug's current lunge, but that's no problem because we can just activate another lunge by repeating this procedure. Activate a lunge while the scuttlebug is deactivated, Front. reactivate the scuttlebug One. just for the upwards portion of its trajectory, and then Front. repeat. As simple as that. Two. So that's what I do here, and I have a second screen to show it from the scuttlebug's perspective. Fortunately, the scuttlebug's Three. radius isn't a sphere, but a cylinder Three. that extends up and down infinitely. So really, no matter how high the scuttlebug gets, we can continue to enter its area to activate its lunges and move it upwards. There's no limit to how high we can raise it. Now, it's worth noting that I only activate the scuttlebug while I'm not in no. its radius. Sure. So the scuttlebug will always lunge towards its home and not towards Mario. This causes the scuttlebug to effectively travel straight up above its home. But alternatively, I could have activated what does this the scuttlebug while inside of its radius. Ditch Carter Climax Salvage is a little too killer. The always on towards Mario instead of towards its home. So it would actually make its way towards the door and then travel straight up from there. That meant it's actually a little faster because we wouldn't have to wait for the scuttlebug to turn sure. back towards its home before each activation. However, it wouldn't work for what we're doing because we need the scuttlebug to be right next to that corner. In fact, the top of that corner has a special property which we call a misalignment. Basically, in the game's code, there's a discrepancy between the way the game handles collision checking with floors versus walls. This results in a one by one unit area where Mario can get under the floor without being pushed away from the walls. And if Mario's now, hold on. 79 this is a under a floor, will snap right up onto it. So that will be important later I'm big stupid. Up there. Anyway, now it's time to build up some speed. And I mean a lot of speed. Okay. So to get that speed, we're okay. going to use a trick called Hyper Speed. Now from And here's how it works. Right. You probably already know that there are some slopes in the game that Take are too care. steep to stand on. Mario just Die stands right. off of them. But, did Three. you know that you actually can stand on these slopes if they're submerged in shallow water? Cancel. In fact, the underwater Front portion reveal. of these slopes has a special It is not a level one or higher. If you try running uphill, I will down, add you'll it. end up running backwards Six, at seven, increasing eight. speed with no upper uh, end. I will but not add the stock. This would cause us to two. end up in the water before you're not going to bump off my speed. stock. No. You can get a little more speed by running nearly parallel to the slope, Over but ever so slightly yes, uphill. But eventually the slope runs out, or we move too fast to round the corner. But there are some ways to have Mario walk while staying in place. For example, if there's a wall perpendicular to the slope, then we can use that. That allows Mario to build up quite a bit of speed before he breaks through. However, if the wall Cost isn't perpendicular to the slope, then we end up sliding down into the water. 
That's because walls are really just rectangles that push Mario out perpendicularly. Two, three, so walls are Mario just perpendicular wall. angles that push so Mario out. Parallel universe and opposite direction. There's a parallel universe in an opposite direction. It's simple to understand. If, if you can't understand this, then you can't play Mario 64. That's, that's where I'm at. Okay, TJ Henry Yoshi. It actually in the case of the gate. You see, the bottom of the gate is a ceiling. And the game doesn't like putting Mario too close to the area right under a ceiling because it doesn't think he fits. So if we have Mario he doesn't fit. backwards into the ceiling, no. the game will choose not to Grab move this. him. So we're free to build up speed in place, but not Marker. infinite speed because we end up bringing Brainstorm. free if our speed moves past the gate. So what do we do? We turn to redirect our speed out of bounds. Notice that we now have enough speed so that our Sandwich. intended next position is past the wall and out of bounds. And since the game doesn't like placing Mario out of bounds, it doesn't move him, and instead just lets him stay in place, just like the ceiling. But unlike the ceiling, out of bounds goes on forever, so we can essentially build up as much speed as we want without having to worry about breaking free. So now I do just that. Open the gate, use the ceiling of the okay. gate to build up some speed, and then redirect my angle out of bounds to build up the rest. Now, you're probably wondering what I'm going to huh? need all this speed for. After all, I do build up speed for 12 hours. Uh, but to answer that, we need to talk about parallel universes. Woo! Parallel universes. So Mario's Brainstorm. position is a floating yes, sir. number, but it's converted uh, to a short when the game uses it to test Three. for collision with seven triangles. Sure. In other words, the short Mario's position dumb. can basically be any decimal number, but it's converted to an integer between negative 32, 768, and positive 32767 inclusive. Positive 32767. So that's what does it. Inclusive. Too small inclusive is the one that does it. The modulo operator. Graphically, that means the that the modulo operator detection is always inside of this box. So if Mario is in that box, then his actual position and the position used for four detection are the same, albeit maybe One, two, off by a single three, fraction due four, to the truncation. Five, but if Mario leaves that box, mind, then his actual position and the position used for floor detection will separate, since the position used for floor detection will just loop back around to remain in the original box. So now I ask you this. Here's the course. So if Mario is standing way over here where there's no land, but the position used for floor detection mm. is on land, can he stand over here? The answer is yes. As far as the game sees it, Mario is in fact above land over here because the game actually checks for land over here. So, for all intents and purposes, there is essentially land over here, a copy of the original map. And this is what we call a parallel universe, or a PU. Uh, and this applies to every one of these boxes. So there's actually a grid of nearly infinite PUs. Here is a scale diagram of the PU grid. As you can see, the PUs are actually pretty far apart, Front but side I'll be taking some creative liberties and drawing them closer together for the sake of Two. clearer visuals. Now, PUs aren't as glamorous as you might think. Pass the graphics are only found on the original map, so the PUs are completely invisible. Furthermore, PUs have no objects, like elevators or item blocks, no enemies, no items, like coins or stars, and not even any walls. So really, it's pretty barren. Furthermore, the N64 console will actually crash if you go to a PU and let the camera follow you. But luckily, we can avoid that crash by fixing the camera in place on the original map before leaving it. Though, that does make it even harder to tell what's going on in the PUs. So, as you just saw, you can travel to a PU if you have enough speed, but it's not as simple as you might think. If you have just enough speed to reach what the PU one over, right, it huh? won't actually sure. work. That's because the game actually checks if Mario is above land at each quarter step of his movement. That means the simplest PU movement is moving over four PUs at once. That way, each quarter step is above land and therefore valid. For simplicity, we call this quadruple PU distance one QPU. Now, up until this point, I've been glossing over a very important detail, which I now need to clear up. What if I told you the distance Mario moves isn't necessarily equal to his speed? For example, look how fast Mario moves at 31 speed on this flat slope, and now compare it to how fast he moves at the same speed on this steeper mm -hmm. slope. In both cases, he has about the same speed, but clearly he's moving at different rates. That's because the distance Mario moves is only a portion of his actual speed and this portion depends on the slope of the ground. The sure. steeper the slope, the smaller this portion is. 
Note that it only depends on the steepness, not whether Mario is facing uphill, downhill, or sideways on the hill. In these visuals, blue will represent Mario's actual speed, and green will represent the portion of it that he moves, which we call Mario's de facto speed. So in these three pictures, Mario has the same speed, but he has different de facto speeds since he's standing on slopes with different steepnesses. So, if we want to move one QPU, it's not sufficient to have QPU speed. We need QPU de facto speed, which Pay often one means that actual one, speed one out of be greater than one QPU to compensate. So to reiterate, we need to increase our speed until our de facto speed syncs up with one QPU. And the speed needed to do this is called the sinking speed. So in this diagram, the blue arrow represents the sinking speed. When we have that speed, the quarter steps of the de facto speed sync up with the PUs, and we can move. Now, what I'm showing here Five. is just the lowest, sure. or first sinking speed, aka the speed to move exactly one QPU. If we increase our speed, eventually our de facto speed no. would sync up again uh, and cover the two? distance of two, two yeah. QPU. And so we'd be able to move at that speed, Take which two. is two times as fast as oh, before. Sure. So in general, any multiple of the lowest sinking speed is itself a sinking speed and will cover multiple QPU at once. So remember, every slope has a different set of sinking speeds, and this can make rounding so tricky. Two, For example, sure. in the video Not where one. I do PU movement to reach the secret aquarium, I had to traverse several different slopes. First, this slope that I used Five. for speed walking, then this Three. slope at the edge of the water, then the flat ground of the castle foyer, then the castle stairs, which is really Take a three. steep ramp, and then the flat ground of the upstairs. And note that the stairs you see there are actual stairs and not a ramp, so they're just flat ground. Here is a graph showing the sinking speeds for each of these slopes, and so these are the speeds I need in order to have PU movement while Some standing on two. each of these slopes. Mm -hmm. Naturally, the steeper slopes have greater sinking speeds. Now, keep in mind that I can only build up speed while I'm on the hyperspeed walking slope. Sure. Once I leave it, I can't generate any more speed, so my um, speed will only decrease from there. Front, so to successfully under, perform this P route, I better have generated enough speed to meet each slope sinking speed Overhand. in turn. For example, huh? let's say I build up enough speed to reach the first possible sinking speed, and I <laughs> use that to go to the next slope. Then, I could let my They're speed drop line, okay. until I reach this Perfect. slope sinking speed, drop go to the next slope, let my speed drop again until I reach uh, this slope sinking speed, uh, go to the next that. slope, but then I have a bit of a problem. I have less One. than the required sinking speed, and no way to gain any more. So is this route just to impossible? What? Well, no, because these are just the slope's first sinking speeds. But remember, any multiple of these will work as well. So now, uh, let's factor in each slope's second sinking speed as well. These speeds allow Mario to move need, two QPU. We're, we're in a parallel universe at this point. So now, I can't if I instead build up this. enough speed, that is true. I do, but I don't. That first slope, just, I then I'll know. actually have enough speed to meet each sinking speed in turn and complete the route. And if that didn't work, we could have considered each slope's third sinking speed and so on until we did get it to work. However, How big which sinking speed we need to reach initially okay. is kind of a big deal, because reaching that first sinking speed takes about 12 hours, and reaching that second sinking speed takes about 25 hours. So if there's a way to use a lower sinking speed initially, then that's a 12 hour save. So, how much speed will we need to generate for the Watch for Rolling Rocks star? Well, keep in mind that even with access to Tap unlimited this horizontal speed, Start this we don't balance. have any improved vertical mobility. How, big, uh, so how many comics is there of course, we need to travel up slopes and ride up elevators. So this will be the basic route. Seven. Start on the height of the walking slope, the navigate the along the climb? path up okay. from yes. the lake, ride up this elevator, uh, ride up right. this other Three. elevator, Make our way onto the amazing emergency exit platform, which is the highest point we can reach, and then launch to the Watch for Rolling Rocks platform. By itself, that still won't be enough height, but the scuttlebug we positioned will provide the extra the scuttlebug. So this is the graph of the sinking speeds of these slopes. Unfortunately, we run into a bit of an issue with the path up from the lake. That area is actually made up of dozens of floor triangles that each have different slopes. But that didn't stop me. After careful observation and scrutiny, that didn't stop I me. six triangles, which I named T1 through T6. These Four. triangles have strictly decreasing steepnesses, so we can meet each of their sinking speeds in turn. 
Additionally, their height spanned the entire vertical distance we need to cover to go from bottom to top without leaving any gaps in between. So, by using the slopes of those six triangles, we can complete the blueprint for our route, allowing us to utilize the first sinking speed of that initial slope. So, building up speed only takes 12 hours instead of 25. Yo! Almost ready to go back to the video, but there's just some final points I want to make. For example, you don't need to have exactly the sinking speed to traverse PUs. If you have slightly less than the sinking speed, you'll move relatively forwards in the map. If you have slightly more than the sinking speed, you'll move relatively backwards in the map. And the further you deviate from the sinking speed, the greater this relative Money movement on. will be. Four. Additionally, if you adjust your angle slightly away from the cardinal direction, you can move relatively sideways. But keep in mind that even the smallest possible angle deviation will be magnified no. over the QP sure distance. Thing. And thus, Mario will be sent multiple feet to the side. Now, based off what I've told you, you might think you can only travel multiples of four PUs at a time. But that's not actually true. For example, if one of your quarter steps is out of bounds or over a ceiling, uh, 14, then that quarter step will be invalid. 13. And since Mario moves up to, but not including, the first invalid quarter step, he can in fact mm -hmm. end up stopping prematurely at one of the quarter steps. Separately, if you change slopes during a quarter step, your de facto speed will change and you'll alter the distance of the next quarter step. And so most likely, it will no longer sync up with a PU and you'll end up stopping on a new slope. Finally, for simplicity, the oh, set no. of PU it For simplicity, it's, it's, a it's like a fucking 12 by 15 It's not gonna sync up with the PU, Zach. It's not gonna sync up with the PU. It's, 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 it's QPU, PU along. Why are you overplaying that? But moving a different I'm sacking it. Sure. Special conditions, like out of bounds Just or changing them. slopes. Yeah, so, sure. if your QPU aligns, it's easy to stay that way. And if your QPU misaligns, it's easy to stay that way as well. Now, if you become QPU misaligned, you'll need to correct that yep. in order to return to the main map. Not too But right. that can be difficult sure if you're not near out of bounds and your sequence of slope changes is predetermined. So, managing your QPU alignment is one of the many challenges of planning a PU route. Okay, so now we're finally ready to resume the main video and watch the PU movement. Just kidding. First, I need to explain what the screens are. These extra screens will help you follow along during the PU movement. The standard view is just the view that the game shows, but since I fixed the camera on the main map to prevent the game from crashing, this screen won't tell you very much. The relative view shows this where I am in each PU. You this is what it would look like if I let the camera follow Mario around, and if PUs weren't invisible. The relative Which, map this also one? shows where I am yeah. in each PU, okay. but from an overhead perspective. And finally, the PU map shows where I am in the PU grid. Okay, so now let's really start. So, as I explained earlier, I navigate up the path from the lake using the six triangles I isolated, Crash. and I've marked them yeah. in the relative maps that you Gold can bar. So basically, I get two, onto a triangle, two. Let my speed drop until I'm around the sinking speed for that triangle slope, then navigate uphill on the triangle, and then move to the next triangle. Using what I taught Front you, tall. you should be able to follow along with Gold my movement. Bar. For example, yep. I'm able to move relatively yeah, backwards I'll, I'll because I have slightly see? more than the same yep. speed. Whenever I move sideways, it's because I'm slightly angled away from the cardinal direction. And every time I move from okay. triangle to triangle, my QP uh, alignment changes. But cleverly, I planned it in such a way that they'd all cancel out. Is that out the one you just triggered? That end yeah. Up QP yeah. Aligned. So right now, I'm on the sixth triangle. So uh, I do a little zigzag what? to bring me back towards the main map, uh, as you can see on the Q map screen. Remember, I need it's to return good. to the main map in order to access the elevator since there are no yeah. objects in PUs. Great. As you may have noticed right there, the elevator didn't register me until I started kicking. And that's Take actually three. the reason why I've been holding A this entire A1. time. Sure. By holding A, I can press B to yeah. do these little kicks. Reset. Without these Side kicks, I go through that. the elevator. But with the kicks, I can ride it up to gain yeah. precious height. Okay. okay, so now we're closing in on the end. The final movement I do will be a kick onto okay. the amazing emergency exit works. platform, then turn and launch myself towards the scuttlebug. That movement will bring me 10 PU to the right and 3 PU down. But since I want to end up on the main map, I reverse that displacement and so position myself 3 PU up and 10 PU left. While doing that, I simultaneously position myself in the correct relative part of the map to make the movement work. Okay, now don't blink. And there we don't go. Play. I'm bouncing on the scuttlebug and ground pounding in the misalignment. Right. I achieved just enough height to get onto the Rolling Rocks I platform. Here, I show the bridge the scuttlebug raising, in case earlier's viewing was too choppy to follow. 
As you can see, yeah. the scuttlebug moves back and forth above its home. Shit. At the end, you can see I do two special raisings purely to move him sideways and closer to the corner, since he ended up being too far away for the bounce to work. And here, I show an alternate angle of the final PU movement. The scuttlebug actually became active once I entered the PU version of this room, so I really only had a handful of frames to get over here before he fell into charm. And there you have it. Watch for rolling rocks done in 0.5 A-presses. Uh, Man, I did not expect this video to become 25 minutes long when I started commentating, but I guess there was just that much to explain. Hopefully, you are able to follow Just along with my explanations and visuals, Get learn the something new, next and had an enjoyable experience. So, thanks for watching. Oops. Sonic the Hedgehog has been enjoying a bit of a resurgence as of late because of his upcoming feature film, which is great because you go, oh, those but lights that are way too cute. Those lights are, oh my god, those lights are a game like, oh, theory. Thanks for Sonic watching. Wrong broadcaster. This new Sonic has a lot of fans crying heresy. Sonic I love Sonic. Blue cartoon Hedgehog. Be a I'm a Sonic fan for life. But what if I told you that this was not the only blasphemous version of Sonic? What if I told you that nearly every single piece of Sonic media was heretical? I hold in my hand 13 pages that prove... What are you trying to figure out, brother? Oh, the Sonic Bible! Lego! I need to explain a little bit about here. Sega. These 13 pages and how Sonic was made. You see, Sega was in a real tough spot in the early okay. 90s as it tried to compete uh, with Nintendo and the overwhelmingly then. successful Mario. So they worked on <coughs> to create a new mascot, not just for a game, but for the company as a whole. Naoto Oshima created Mr. Needlemouse, a teal hedgehog with red sneakers, and then he worked with Yuji Naka to okay. create a game uh, around Direct this attack, give the effect. Oh, a few more. tweaks, and Sonic the Hedgehog the was born. Or uh, at least one version four. of Sonic was born. You see, Sega wasn't okay. just fighting with Give Nintendo, the here. it was also fighting with Burn 2, right? Sega it is Burn 2. Sega of America and Sega of Japan had a lot of tension between them, and they didn't see eye to eye on a lot of things, especially when it came to Sonic. The original version of Sonic was a bit more punk rock and had a girlfriend. A Five real or four. human power. girlfriend named Madonna. And we all it know is, that well, I gave this power, never so... make Sonic kiss a, a real... 12, 5, 14... 145, 155, 165. Can't be 65. Yep. Uh, and it has the burn too. Went on to become the true Sonic. The Sonic we all know and love. Right? No. Oh. This Bible has had very little bearing. The Sudan. Do you know what that means? I do. What does that mean, Zach? Uh, Carmen needs to tell the first. What does that mean, Carmen? The scry counter would not have mattered. Oh man, he's right. That's exactly what it is. No, I don't care what that means, Carmen. What does the Sudanian mean? I'm sorry. Goodbye. Yes. A bit too intense for. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit, folks. We're about to engage in a friendly session of biblical literalism. Now. I'm not one to advocate taking a written account as the pure truth and nothing but, but for Sonic I'm willing to bend my values a little bit. We're about to take everything written in these 13 pages as God's How did I blind stop two barns? That, that sucks, bro. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Yep. I'm not going to read this Bible in its entirety. You can read it online if you'd like, but I am going to read the first paragraph in full because I think it's important for you to understand what we're dealing with. Sonny Hedgehog was born on Earth in the early 21st century in the town of Hardly, Nebraska, population 1,226. From the first line alone, we already know that one, Sonic's birth name is actually Sonny, two, he is a real hedgehog that was born circa 2000, okay. and four. three, he's a Midwestern boy. All right, buddy, all right. Five sisters, two, two, two boys, two, two, two. let's get it. Boys. Beside the local burger joint and subsist on I think this is, wrong. this is a really bad matchup for me. That That's coming away. up. They are a poor but happy family. From these lines, we know that four Sonic's family lives in an Okay, boys. I gotta run to the bathroom. And five, they 
have a very similar diet to me. Unfortunately, Sonny's dad died when Sonny was just a few days old after falling into a gurgling, festering vat of toxic waste dumped in a nearby pond. Be right back, Laterinos. What? Sonic, the lighthearted hedgehog we all know and love, never knew his father because he was reduced to sludge thanks to corporate pollution. There are 30 key tenets in the Sonic Bible, and I'm just going to go ahead and list them off real quick. I'm sure that wherever he is, terribly dry eyesight from the local bowling alley. Sonny was on the team, right? I'm using a controversial and it's a more excellent face. Sonny learned from Peter Sonny. Most of his son, I'm on my table, Sonny, will be discussing the demo class. It didn't last long. The 30 tenets of the Sonic the Hedgehog Bible. Look at him up there. Beautiful. Practically glowing with potential energy. The potential energy I shall release into a holy flame so that I might burn out the blasphemy from Sonic's modern iteration. 